don't have to say to these people anymore. Speaking of Rico, uh, Mr. Minahan. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, earlier you said that you had no listeners under the age of 18. Mm-hmm. Got one, got one right here. I'm 17. Okay. Listening for about a year. Take it easy, Mike. And uh, Mike also <laughs> said that. Mike said, like, no one under 18 uses the word that matters. I was, I was guessing. Like, I didn't know. Yeah, no, I know. But, like, since I was probably in, like, middle school, like, that word's, like, used conversationally. Like, everyone says it. Oh, there you go. But anyway. It's making a comeback. The reason I'm calling, the reason I'm calling is I would like to be the first Kirk Minahan show athlete. Oh, okay. What, what, what sport do you play? NILU. Hmm? Uh, I play football and lacrosse. I'm going to be a senior in high school. Okay, part of this. What is it called that Barstool's do? What's, it, what's this new college thing where they can do this stuff it's with Barstool athletes? athletes. athletes no, right? is there like a phrase now? That's something I forget. What it is. Barstool athletes? No, it's not that. Go ahead. Yes. All right. Go ahead. What is your weight? I weigh 170 pounds. Okay. Six foot one. Mm-hmm. And oh, I can't flirt with this. I will guy, represent this show with Damn pride. <laughs> All right, with pride. You can if you don't hire him. <laughs> <laughs> He's seventeen. Well, I think look up the laws in Massachusetts. It's the old EI strategy. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, and you're a big fan of the show. Absolutely, listen right. every day. All right, every show. You're hired. Congratulations, and you're the Whoa. second alternate on the trivia team too. You had a job. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> There you go. Congratulations. I like it. He's 17 and he uses gay slurs. It seems like he should be part of it. <laughs> He'll fit right seems in. Like a, seems like a no-brain hire. No-brain hire. Congratulations. A homophobic child has go. been added to the team. There you go. Wonderful news. It's wonderful news. It certainly is. All right. 508. Talkie babe, Dennis Miller. How are you? Mm, Hello, Dennis. Okay. Turkey, a little, little problems with the uh, trivia lineup, okay? You've had more lineup changes than White Snake, Okay. Here's two names. If you want loyalty and consistency, uh-huh. okay? Yep. G. Gordon Liddy and Oliver North, babe, okay? Okay. <laughs> and that's all I got today, Kirk. <laughs> I thought so, I was going to get a little more. <laughs> I think I know who that voice is. I that's think I, I Uncle do Uncle Jerry know. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sammy Davis Jr.? <sighs> the guy's lost a lot. That you know, particular guy? When I met I met him. I've told you this. I met him the day of Dave's 5K. Yeah, that was a rough He had a regular voice. and like, he, Remember he got mad? Yes. Because remember a dog fell down or something? Remember that the woman had the dog and she fell down? I think you mis- you, he said you misrepresented that story. Did not in any right? way, shape, or form. I remember exactly where we were outside of that coffee house, the Java room. This old woman fell down and it was like, it was like peak COVID, like, what the fuck do we do? Right. And we kind of looked at each other and the guy got all mad, remember? It was the 5K, right? Yeah, yeah it was yeah, that yeah, day. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Nice guy, but Jesus. Hello. Kirk, would you like a little Monday morning trivia for you and Mike? Sure, Ooh. Tim. Go ahead. Just, just one question. What size bra do you think Mike would be fitting into right now? <laughs> that's very, that's very <laughs> hurtful, Tim. Uh, Mike, don't be hurt. They're actually turning me on. Those titties are huge, bro. Tim, that's very upsetting. I am looking at Mike's right nipple right now, which is Mike's <laughs> sitting about eight feet away from me. The nipple is about a quarter of an inch from my face. It's very chilly in here. <laughs> he makes Glenn that, Orway that look like that. cut glass if you brought it in there. Well, listen. That thing... <laughs> It's it's not a cold he has. It's all the lactate in his throat from his boob. I was hesitant to wear this shirt today. Papa Gino should hire <laughs> that out. nipple. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye. Oh, Tim. Why do you have to hurt me like that? That's not true. It's not true. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You look dangerously thin to me, Mike. Thank you. I'm worried about you. Thank you. As you head off to New Jersey. I'm sickly. True. I'm dying. Three, one, five. Hello. How are you all? I'm doing fine. Thank you. How are you? Good, Kirk. I got a problem. Okay. Mikey blew out my eardrums with his cum. Have you ever seen a sperm whale breaching the surface? Uh, sure, yes. Sure, sure. It's like that. He was supposed to aim for my mouth, and he didn't because he can't see. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> they load up, Dave? They load up. Hello. Hey, Kirk, let's keep this uh, short and sweet. Bruce, trivia question for you. Sure. All right, what album mm-hmm. is the song This Depression on? Uh, Wrecking Ball. Come on, Kirk, let's fucking go! Woo! Thank you. Very excited. All right. Very much. You knew a Bruce question. That's un- <sighs> unexpected. Yeah, I don't know. Hello. Kirky, there he is. How we doing, man? I'm fine, thank you. I'm here. As happy as I can be. I wish okay, I was somewhere Kirky. else. <laughs> 
So, so you're, you've been talking about grocery stores lately. I want to want to get a hot take on what you think. So, uh, don't you think one second, of, one second, uh, one second, one second, buddy. I'll, I'll give you plenty of time. Uh, <clears throat> I think of, I was thinking the other day. Yeah, I should hire that grocery store guy. We talked to him on the phone. Why is that? Because he's electric. What would he do? He would just middays or where, where we yeah, think insulting callers for four hours. Okay, that would be fun. I would give him a show, Dave. Yep, on the YouTube channel. You want me to call back today? No, what I might. I'm going to be in Iowa coming up. Maybe I'll swing oh, by. Oh, oh. We could book, if we could book him, wouldn't you want him to be on the YouTube channel? The problem is he's got the Minahan stink on him now for EEI. That's what I mean. So we, keep, yeah. we bring him here. We bring him to the network. Okay. Can't be worse. I watched a few minutes of Menors in the VD last night. Holy shit, was that terrible. By the way, you keep saying he, but a lot of people thought it was a... Or she. We weren't... Or was they a, or whatever. It, it was I'm disputed. Not, I'm not here to judge. Heavily disputed. Menors in VD was so bad last night. It was lifeless. I didn't catch it. I watched like five minutes. Justin, how bad was it? It was not great. Not great. I have Justin reading comments. So what's... What, what's your opinion on the Arthur T. Demoulis Mafia, otherwise known as Market Basket? Uh, I'm, I'm okay with Market Basket. I'm okay with it. It's the working man's market. That's where the working man goes <laughs> oh, to sorry. feed his family. Yes. Oh, go, yeah, there you go. Good. I thought the, pri- Good prices. The, prices, the prices aren't higher than they used to be. Like, I thought there was, wasn't there, how many years ago was that crazy strike? Oof. Now, t- now, Kirk, ready? I was a part of that strike when I was in high school. I was a part of it. They told me, punch in and go out and pick it. And I was, you know, 16 years old. And I was <laughs> right. like, I, you know what? I, I, need, I, need, I need some summer money, you know. But seven years ago, Kirk, 14. Yep. Summer 14. Never forget it. There you go. Wild. All right, good call. Hello. Hey, Kirk, what's going on? What's up? Um, quick, quick question for you. I got um, getting married September 3rd. I'm looking to drop, you know, that nice little 8 to 10 pounds. I want to know the rundown of what you were dieting in in July. I'm currently and, still, um, on it, I'm over, still on it, by the way. Wh- I want to know kind of what a day consists of for you, what you cut, and sure. then a little bit wedding day advice sure. from you. Uh, simple breakfast, uh, a couple of slices of bacon, and uh, some turkey sausage. I run first, have that breakfast, have a, maybe a little soup for lunch, um, and then for dinner, you know, some steak, some chicken, you know, put some salad on there, protein it up. Uh, and I don't snack during the day. You know, that's sort of the big thing. And no soda. I cut soda, that's essentially. What it is. The chips, you know. Yep. The, yeah, chips the, are the, gone. The, Cookies the are chips, gone. The stuff like that. All lately, right. so like nothing. Oh, a handful of peanuts stuff. or something. Yeah. And I mean, they're, you know, it's almost 20 pounds right now. So what about so. wedding day advice? You know, it's a hectic day. What do you got for, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to be 31. Yeah, you'll be right. like, what you'll, do I need to focus on? You'll be focus all right. On? You'll be all right. No, nah, you'll be okay. Once it's, day, you know, Dave's done. Once you, once it's over, it's fine. Oh, it's, it's easy day. Yeah, it's the, guy is, the guy has it easy. You just show up, make sure the tux is yeah, good. True. You know, don't get too drunk, though. Don't be that asshole. There you go. All right. You're the man. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Yes. I'm pretty sure that I accepted you, but I need some confirmation. Okay. Um, on the dozen last week or the week before, whatever it was, this is the guy that I called in about the killers a couple times. You uh-huh. threw out a random ass about the killers. Did I accept you? No. Uh, oh, no. I, that's When I think of that era, it's the only rock band I know. I don't even know if they were around then. They were, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure, you did. All right, goodbye. You accepted me. 508. Mm-hmm. Hey, Kirk, I want to get the Karabas, but first, with uh, uh, Dale Arnold and the Jungle Cruise, mm-hmm. like, not only does he want to like, be the personal bidet to like, wrestlers like The Rock, <laughs> but another reason why he tweeted it was, I watched it with my little kids who were like nine years old this weekend, and it is not so low-key, like, woke. Like, in your face, a couple of things uh, they jammed in there, so that's another reason why he had to, had to have his name uh, on oh, that Oh, is that right? I think there's Absolutely. also a chance he watched like, it alone. Just wedged right in. Oh, yeah, you, you, you watch with his kids? <laughs> Invited the family over. Well, well thanks for the call. No, I, I want to get the Karabas if you got a minute. Uh, sure, go ahead. All right. Uh, for, he's a drip on the show. But besides that, like, that defense was so weak about why he took KMS out. And uh, it really has all to do with that new podcast with Poppy. And the fact of the matter is, if he was on Odyssey, saddled in between, you know, swings and misses, and the Brian Scalabrini show, you would be all over this podcast with Poppy. Oh, all for, oh, for, oh for sure. Of course. Like yeah. I've said it like if I wasn't friends with Jared, I'd be murdering it. But but you know what? I, I like the guy. I got a weakness for him. I, but like I said, he admits it. I give him credit. He admits it and he plays along with it. Like if we made fun of it, he'd play along with it. All right. Well, that sounds good. I like that you say that. I love your cheeks. Also, I don't know if you would make fun of Jared. I love what? What did he say? I think he said, I love, love your cheeks. cheeks. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 
Hey, Kirk. What's up? Hey, Kirk. I got a chief-related question that I want to get to, but I just want to say, I think Dave is doing a decent job. I want to give him some kind of credit. I know you kind of uh, uh, trashed him last week, but I, I just I think he's doing all right, and I think it's funny. You guys, I mean, I think it's a good thing when you can sit there and shit on Dave when he does something stupid. Okay, what else? It's sad that uh, Conan's not getting the Mike Geary defense. He's all right. He's all right. Yeah, <laughs> he's not bad. <laughs> so did I maybe read between the lines that you are coming to Iowa for the case? That is or correct. Somewhere. Can I offer a guess? On sure. Maybe which, so there was a couple of girls missing um, just like over by like Cedar Falls, Waterloo, maybe about uh-huh. 10 years ago or okay. so. Uh huh. Like Lyric Cook and I'll say this: I I will be in. I will. I'm not gonna say yes or no. I will be in Waterloo for a little bit next week. How's that? Listen to a okay. Little yes. All right. Hmm. So what's that like? Listen to a little Abba on your way down. I might. Yeah, I might. Yes. So are, is it, is that final or is it? What, I guess what's your trip to Waterloo? Going okay. To, right. I mean, so we'll talk to right. Jesus Christ, yeah. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and shit in the library. Nothing's gonna is, change. Hello. Hi, Dark. Yes. This is Ben Robinson calling. Ben Robinson wow. calling? Holy shit. I mean, this is Ben Robinson, Steve. yes. Ben, how are you? I'm not not good, Kirk. Not not happy, actually. Well, what's wrong? I I was listening to your show last week almost on accident and sure. I just can't believe you would call somebody and ask about their mother. Right. Oh yeah, well, right. A little offensive. That is true, Ben. I'm sorry. I know you are in charge of Governing this. I do apologize. We, Dave, can we scrub that out? We can scrub that. We'll scrub we'll it out, Ben. Yeah. Is that good? We can go back. Anything else you want to scrub down? But, uh, the, uh, the other thing, I, I think you should stop criticizing Curtis and the ice cream band if he wants to rape little kids and be a pedophile. Well, wait, wait, a, wait, a, wait, a, wait a minute. We don't know if that's true. Or, we don't know if it's not, but we don't know if it's true, Ben. I, uh, that's quite a leap, Ben. I, 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 I hate to say this, but I was, I was, he actually drove up to Maine afterwards, and I sh- saw him shove a snow cone up a four-year-old's ass. Well, <laughs> that's not good if true. I don't know if it's true or not, Mike. I, I can say it's a, a thousand percent true in my mind. He seems very okay. steadfast. Well, thank you, Ben. Yeah. Good to hear from him. Boy, he's <laughs> never had him on. We always wanted to. Hello. Turkey, nice time, long time. This is actually Jimmy Chipwood calling. Jimmy, how are you? I'm doing well. Uh, what did you do? I what what was your What was your life like after after the game? What would you wind up doing? I opened up a restaurant. Okay. Downtown. What's it called? Um, Bobby yeah. Plump's Last Shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting name. I, I I understand the reference, but okay, it's go ahead. Wordy. <laughs> So it's my understanding you've been giving a lot of credit to Coach Norman Dale. I just want to make it perfectly clear. I have not. That was I, my team. I have not given them credit. If you listen, okay. if you watched, uh, uh, thanks, Dave, for the call. If you watched, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of the podcast I was on, talking about Hoosiers with uh, Karan. I just don't remember the name. I can't remember. But um, that particular podcast, I said Norman Dale was not a great coach. So 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 fuck you. Right. So I would say asshole. Cock. It's good. He's a cunt. I can Glad say he got that. his comeuppance. Yes, yeah. you can say that. Cunt. That's all right for some reason. <laughs> Risk. Ah, uh, hello, Kirk. What's Bernie up? Kozar here. Hey, Bernie. We've been oh, talking to you in a doing? while. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Uh, number nineteen, uh, Cleveland Browns. Sure, no, um, I remember. Very I just well. had a quick question for uh, first time, in a long time. Oh, uh, no, that's too bad. I had a question for you. Uh, did you? What did you think of? The, did you see the Netflix uh, Challenger documentary? <laughs> I did. I, we, uh, we, I did, burn, uh, Bernie. Yes, I did. Uh, four parts. I, it was okay. It was a little familiar. I did, you know. It was. It was. It was okay. B minus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only seen uh, bits and pieces of. Yeah, it, I Kirk. figured. Yeah, I was tiny such a bits. Bird. No, I, tiny I, bits and pieces. I got you. Bernie. I'll hang up and listen. Okay, I got you, Bernie. <laughs> you know, but not a lot of people have talked about this. If you look up Bernie Kozar's obsession with the Challenger, is very strange. It's weird. Yeah, it's like, a, you know, a guy that you find out went to alt-right or something. Yes, it's, a bizarre... yeah, it's sad to see. Yeah. Well, but, he's, but he's passionate. Hello. Kirky, how are you, bud? I'm doing good. Are you loaded up, Dave? You loaded up. Oh, good. good to hear. Um, I do have an introspective question uh, about your career, and that is you seem happiest when you, like, you're investigating something uh-huh. um, or exposing something, uh-huh. which we definitely, Minifans, we definitely enjoy a bunch. 
But do you think like the blowtorching that you've done to like media friends, which we also appreciate, mm -hmm. has sort of like less as you regret like sort of like burning some bridges because you mm. feel like you've done so much great career introspective investigative pieces do you think you would have gotten like more juice if you hadn't like blown like some bridges to, yeah like, i don't know i mean yeah i got you thanks um i don't think it's like hurt like that stuff like the fact that i don't talk to you know uh chris kurt like that's like uh, you know I would say that the only no, but like Bradford maybe or that that, that stuff I with Jerry in the past. Yeah, yeah, I regret the Rob stuff because yeah. that was like a really good like you know he's like my brother like that really he was like my big brother that right. that that uh, if you said to me what relate what relationship are you most upset about fracturing? All right, hello. Hey Kirk, little people, big world. Guys. Oh, good, good, good. Yes, how are you doing? Doing well, can't complain. I thought the last night's episode was going to be a bore, but it was actually pretty decent. So not bad, cool. not bad. I mean, I got to say, like you know, I, I, we harp on this all the time. I, I can't. Uh, uh, the one interesting thing is clearly, my, my, one of my big takeaways is clearly Tori hates Amy. That, that's not even disputable. Yeah, definitely. She really showed her true colors when they were talking about the uh, whose wedding it was, and Tori right. kind of gave her that talking to. Right. And she's right. Amy's you know. really got to grow up. Amy is like a, she's like a child with this wedding, like these drinks and these dresses. And like, she's going and trying these freaking stupid dresses and drinks. And it's my day. And dad, I'm like, oh my God, you're fucking 60 years old. Jesus. Yeah, it's really bad. And she's also like lying about what the drinks were. She's trying to make right. uh, Chris's drink look worse. She's so full of herself. And he's terrible. I'm so sick of her friends. I hate both of her friends now. You can tell they don't want to be there either. None of them want to be there. I like the tease for next week, though, where you can tell, like, you could tell the, the kids, uh, like uh, Karen more than Amy, and you could see a little bit of tension boiling over next week. I like that. Like, 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 <laughs> the, like the little it kids. It is fun. I, I was actually wondering, like, what are the chances? Because all uh, Karen's or Amy's friends do is just bash Matt. I know, like, kill he's him. the worst guy in the him. world. While, while he's, like, doing all this stuff, probably at cost, he's eating all of it to make her wedding day so special. And they're just bashing her. I was wondering, do you think maybe we could get a Karen versus, uh, I think it's Lisa at Rough and Rowdy? Oh, I think a, that would be. That's a, that's a good matchup. That's a good physical matchup. I, I think you could see that. Yeah. I mean, I would say if you like the, you know, Karen's probably stock is probably the highest on the show right now. Besides Matt. Yeah. She yeah. Is, oh, Matt. Yeah. Matt's the greatest. I mean, Matt is sitting there like planting these goddamn flowers. Like what else do you want him to do? Like what else? And Amy's like, you know, I hope there's no construction going on. It's like, you fucking agreed to a wedding at a massive farm. Like, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? She's just, she's unreasonable. You cannot win with her. She's so angry. She's like so angry. I, I, I mean, you know, uh, uh, what was my other takeaway from it last night? There was one other moment where I was like, where she's like, oh yeah. She's like, oh, oh yeah. She's like, uh, something at one point. She's like, oh, what are you going to do? If it happens, it's, these things happen. I'm like, well, what, which is it? Like you all you do is complain about this fucking shit. I mean, hey, Chris, I mean, uh, poor Chris, he, he is just checked out. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's truly in the in the marriage for Matt. Uh, Miss Little People Big World, Mrs. Little People Big World actually said, do you think there's a possibility that Matt hired Chris <laughs> to get Amy's off his hands? And the more I think about it's possible. it, the more they're buddying up, it's, it's not a horrible theory. Well, they even, did the, they even did the interview together last night. Chris is so happy. Chris loves, loves, loves Matt Rollup. Loves him. He's in love with him. I, I, can, I think he's in love with him. I see it too. They were very giddy, both on the mat. Matt's starting to warm up to the idea of it. It's very strange. I like it though. I like it. All right, I'll talk to you. Take it easy. See you, buddy. Hello. Hey, I got a trivia thought and then a Bruce question. Um, I, I'm assuming you didn't uh, see the Uptown Footballs versus Casey Smith's team. Oh, uh, wrong but, again. Uh, I, I, wa say... I, I watch it. I watch all competition. Scouting. Okay. Yeah. Just okay, like Dave. So is Casey Smith not the worst? Right, so if you don't know it right away, a big part of trivia is navigating through the questions to the possible answers and making an educated guess. Thank you. She's un that. incapable of doing that. Well, she's absolutely incapable of doing that. She, 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 gets, to, she, she seems to get say a she seems to get very like nervous, and then when like somebody says something like, "Well, the answer is Mumford's and Sons," she's like, "Yep, that's it, Mumford's and Sons." I'm like, "Well, no <laughs> kidding." Like, well, you know, Feilerberg said it. She she takes the timer down to five seconds when they say which European country talking about Taiwan, and then she can't even name a Pac-12 player. So my point is, Go ahead. she's in the front row crying, giving Jeff D. Lowe a cocktail in the center of the 
does in celebration. Oh. Is that what Trista needs to do? Does she a little favoritism. Need to start the uh, water work? Good point. It, That's interesting. Good point. Say, oh, because Casey definitely, like, they were scoring 10 points a game. They can't get questions right. She was Googling as bad or worse as Trista. No question. Anyway, I, I, no, no it's question. Just, it's, no question. It's, yeah, I don't know. This. This is the Kirk. I don't know. I'll get to work on that. You have a Bruce question, too. It's a good, it's a good theory, though. Yeah, so well, and it's actually ironic. You were just talking about Bruce. I know Bruce, typically, you're kind of the mellow storyteller, uh, kind of the, the, that realm, like mm-hmm. uh, Reno or songs like that. Sure. Do you have any high-energy kind of Bruce bangers that you really get excited about, like the Ties That Bind or Cadillac uh, Ranch? Yeah, but like you that? hear them, like for me, I've heard them so much that it's like, you know, uh, you got to hear one that you yeah. haven't heard in a while, like uh, even if they're not great. Um, like, you know, like, uh, I'm trying to think of one that would qualify from the later stuff, you know, like, like, you know, I'm, you give me, I'm a rocker. I'm fine with that. You give me, I'm going down. I'm good with that. Hello. Hello? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. I'm on the show, baby. You are. It's wonderful for all of us. I got uh, I got two categories for you to choose from, Kirky. We'll see what kind of mood you're in today. All right, hold on for one second. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. You can hold on. All right, go ahead. God damn, who does a better read than Kirk Minahan? Yeah, well, Jesus Christ. Well, All right, two movie questions thank or two WEI questions. I'll take one of each. I'll take one of each. How's that? One of each. Is that good. All right. So in those, That's fair. I have a good bad '80s movie. I want you to guess, okay. but I'm only going to give you one hint or two hints rather. Damn it, you're tough. So okay, it's a George Lucas film, uh-huh. and it's got um, the girl from Back to the Future. The Howard the, the, Howard the Duck. Howard right the now. Duck. Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. What do you think about Howard the Duck? Great fucking movie. Uh, it's not a great movie. I did masturbate to Leah Thompson that as a kid because she was in like panties <laughs> at one point, as I recall. Though she Ooh. almost fucked the duck. She almost fucked the that duck. That was the first yeah, time I did, my dick ever. I did ever masturbate <laughs> to a scene. With a duck in it. That is true. Hmm. Yeah. I will, I will well, pause. Do you like thing. that movie, Me Justin? You share that in no. What? No, not a big fan. All right, it's not very... Tim Robbins is in that, by the way. No, he, what? No, he's an idiot. Don't talk to him anyway. Tim Robbins? Oh, um, so sec, second point was one time when you first left WEI, yeah, was, uh, Jerry and fucking Mutt. Yeah. And uh, Curtis answered Mutt. the phone. I called in Curtis answered the phone. I was talking shit about Mutt. He goes... Yeah, that's why we're still number one in the city, asshole, and fucking hung up on me like the sensitive little ass <laughs> I'm a fat, drunk bitch that he is. Uh, that doesn't sound like a trivia question to me. Uh, well, nope, that was, the other one was a movie <laughs> a question. Bit of a story. And it's a Gene Hackman, Gene Hackman movie, mm-hmm. underrated, they're stealing gold, called Heist. Have you seen oh, it? Of course, that's David Mamet. Yeah, Delroy Lindo. And uh, Danny DeVito, great movie. Great. It's 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 his I last great. I never hear you bring that up. Awesome his, movie. What do you want me to do? Thank you for the call. God, <laughs> cute. That's why I'm number one in the city, asshole. All right, one more. Be good. Don't suck. Uh, have a take. Seven seven four. Hey Kirk, Mo Vaughn. Hey Mo, how are you? The hit dog. You you, you were on enough. Did you know you was on enough about me? Is that right? He I was. don't know. If I remember that. Very episode. nice guy. Yeah. Slumlord. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> What's that? An isn't accusation. He, isn't he a slumlord? Is he? I don't even know. I think so. He was nice to me. I don't no, know. Nice guy. That's <laughs> all right. Matters. Make money we can. I, I guess. A slumlord. That's messed up. Calling in. Oh, right. Jeez. Sorry about that, Mo. You yeah. hurt Mo's feelings. Jeez. What's yeah. up, Mo? Super hurt. Well, uh, I heard you guys talking earlier about losing friends for a long time. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I also had a movie gripe. But okay. I had a friend named Chuck back in the day. And I remember playing first base and Chuck hit a little ground ball and he said he was safe. I said he was out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long side, of, long side of Mo, but we got there. We got there. I enjoyed it. We got there, Mo. <laughs> Mo could hit, man. Mo could uh, fucking hit. Mo would have been, one second, Mo. Well, you can ask your movie. Mo would have been so beloved if he was the first baseman of those 03, 04 teams. Right. Like he would have been, like, uh, if he was still, you know, in his prime. Yeah. He would have been a massive star. Is he from here originally or did he just stick around? We went to Seton Hall, New right? Canada, no. Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut. Yeah, Norwalk. Right. Yeah. All right, all right. Seton Hall, right, Mo? That's right. With Bagwell, That's right? right? Or no? Hall. All four years. Wow. What was, a squad. It, was it Bagwell? No, am I wrong? Somebody good in that was on that team. Biggio? Well, oh, Mo, we've got him on the phone. He wouldn't know. Mo, who was on that team? Uh, my memory doesn't serve <laughs> me correctly. Sorry, guys. Mo Vaughn, Jeff Bagwell. Um, of course, we and, know Jeff, you know, Jeff Bagwell is now more famous for Portnoy, but this is what happens in life. <laughs> It'd be great if that was the first um, search. <laughs> Go ahead. 
Speaking of Costner or from earlier, but in the Untouchables, I just don't understand. Like the baby doesn't get shot once in it's the store. It's a little store. strange. It's a little strange. And also, like, must have been super concussed after bouncing down all those. Guys. Yeah, not good. That kid was fucked for sure. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, yes. Thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks, Appreciate man. it. Let's take one more, Dave. That's kind of done. Hello. Hey, Kirk, it's David Ortiz. <laughs> He's got a big... <laughs> He's big pop. What's up? Why are we all laughing? <laughs> Got a big podcast coming out today. I think, I think as we speak, yeah, right, it just Mike? came out two minutes yeah. ago. Yeah, congratulations, hey, David. You, hey, 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 Mike, you come down to the Dominican Republic, you laugh like that, you're gonna end up with a bullet in your back. Oh, no, oh, David, please no. <laughs> Wait a minute. Believe me, I can talk from personal experience. I understand that, David. Go ahead. Oh, how, how was your experience working with Jerry? You know, it's been good so far. Good. I say, uh, you know, Jerry. He constantly wants to talk about John Henry and his massive cock. And I know for a fact that John Henry does not have a massive cock. How do you know that, David? Well, uh, you know, they were on their yacht one time, oh. and Linda Holiday, she oh. called me on my phone. She said, David, David. Linda John Henry Wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Linda that. Holiday? Belichick's girlfriend? Uh, whatever, whatever that fuck her name is. I don't, I, you know, I, I didn't even know that seems to draw your name while I was there, man. You know that? You know right. that famous story? Sure, you oh, can keep track of all those names. names. Of course. I'm sorry, David. I mean to get in the way. Continue. It, it's okay. Whatever the fuck her name is, she called me. She said, John Henry wants big black cock in his ass right now. Oh, oh, I, I don't. I, I she doesn't don't, want any. I don't think that. I, 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 Again, we've had a this. Wild we've had these issues before, David. Uh, you're, uh, the, I, I can't. I, I can't corroborate that. I, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm, I mean, I, I believe you're a man of integrity, but geez. Hey, let me ask you a question. What are you doing? So, what do you? What do you? What about this yard sale selling these Tide Pods? What, what's that about? <laughs> it's my only chance to interview. Uh, you, Good. You know, you get into a, a sticky situation sometimes. This is something Jared knows quite about a sticky situation. That is I'm true. Like, uh, you know, and and you need to. You know, you need to make a move. You need to make a move. And, uh, you know, we made a move. It's much like a trade deadline move. Uh, we made a move. Okay. Well, good. Good. Anything else, David? Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Well, at least David has a sense of humor. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hold on. I got to piss anyway. You guys know oh, okay. from Oh, hold on. There he is. Oh, sorry. 617. We'll take it. Or is it a question for Kirk? Probably. No, it's for you too, Dave. May I suggest oh, a can of um, whipped cream? Oh, I mean, is that is this Tim? Hey, Tim. Yeah, yeah, it's Tim Can. Hey, Chris. How um, you doing, it, Dave? It, Dave, tonight um, I'm going to the Be a Man Show, and I have an extra seat in my car, so you're not getting out of this. <laughs> I I have two tickets to the Be a Man Show, and I I just don't want to go into the city of Boston. Like I just I don't know. And I'm I'm that guy. Dave, I'm driving. Yeah. I'm driving. I know where to park. I know we can get hookers afterwards if you want. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've been there many times, just you know, walking around. But uh, me and Steve from Providence are heading in with me. Oh wow! Oh, now I'm sorry. Oh, can't now be I'm sold. Oh shit! Yes. Oh, oh! Don't be fucking big time to me. I'm Waffle joking. He was. Oh, you that, Tim? It's Tim, making, he was mocking you. It's making fun of Steve from Providence, not Tim. But well, no. don't make fun of Steve from Providence. Is a you know, is a great Marine. Yeah, he was. He served. Walked yes. all that way. I will, don't besmirch him now because Tim called. I will re. I will reconsider. I, can I let you know what's my deadline? Reconsider. Um, I'd say around four thirty. All right, that's fair. I will have an answer to you by four thirty. You're not just gonna go. No, I, I don't want to go. Like I don't personally want to drive in, but the fact that he's willing to drive makes me happy. It's a no freaking free ride. Yeah, What's wrong with you, Dave? Just go. Yeah. Two great guys. I know, but then I'm also going to take shit from the wife for leaving the kids when they've been sick and all this stuff. What's so, going on? Jesus what do we got? Tim we... offered to drive me to the Be A Man show tonight. Tim who? Tim from Ken. Oh, you're going to that, Tim? I am. I am. I'm, I, and you're going to be mad. I'm going with Steve from Providence. <laughs> oh, why is, what is he, why has he become such a cunt? What happened? Great guy. Well, we can conference him in and ask. Well, we can't. You know what? Uh, if I'm, Dave I'm comes yeah. tonight, yeah, 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 quite an offer. Like, he's, he's, part of this, he's part of this. He's part of these guys who professionally hate the show now. Like, what happened? He wants to laugh. That's all. He's having fun. No, I think he's become joyless. Oh, I gotta say, Tim, I hope you guys die in a way there in a car oh, crash. No. I like you, but I, I mean, what do you want? I, I have nothing. I can't say. You know, I love Tim. Well, but I, this, hey, I understand where you're coming. I'll miss from. you. It but, would you know, be kind of funny if we all died. That would be great. <laughs> that, would, that would be great. How, 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 did, how did my dad die? Oh, he was driving to the Be a Man show with Dave Collins. <laughs>
Steve Abramovich. <laughs> By the way, Dave just had to big time me, Kirk. Oh, he is. You have, if you've been watching, Dave is. I don't know what's going on. He is fucked up today. I don't why? Know what to do. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know what why. Why are you trying big time? What was going on? Well, I said I'd drive me, and I said Steve was coming. He get all, you know, like he's better than us. I mean, oh, he's, he's, he's like, shit. I'll get back to you by four thirty, maybe. Yeah, you are exactly them. Yeah, Dave. maybe. You are no different, Dave. All right. Yeah. All yeah. right, Tim. All right. What's well, nice of him though? All right. I'll see actually... you tonight, Dave. We'll pick up a sub from Rico. Bye, 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 bye. That would actually be fun. That would be a good time. I agree. That's what I told him. Well, I knew th- I knew those guys were going to be there, so I knew. I'm just telling you. Oh, ten minutes sorry. before, I'm going to know that. No, but he, he, the guest list. Steve he knows everyone's going to be there. Gonna be there. Oh, ten sweet. minutes before, I would not want to drive into the city of Boston. Now he has changed the tune a little bit because he's dri- he's offering to drive. Yeah, nice I would go gesture. personally meet commuter rail from from. Does Weymouth have a stop or no? Walpole, yeah, but that's Walpole. Sucks. Yeah, I don't do the train. The train. What? Yeah, I don't know. It's so much easier to go. Oh my god! I haven't done the train in so long. I don't know where it goes. Oh, I, I, think it goes I know to... all about it. If you want the schedules, I can give them to you. <laughs> oh boy! But I would say, uh, you know, I, that's a, that's a no brainer. As opposed to driving in, oh, we we parked the car at Billy Joel and we're walking to Fenway and we passed by the commuter rail. I was so angry. I'm like, we should have yeah. just taken a fucking train. No question. Just, it's just stress free. So much more relaxing. But, but I would say, Dave, take the take. Uh, do whatever you want. But then if they're gonna give you a ride back. Fuck. Then you win. You take the commuter rail in, no traffic. Then you get a ride back to the train. Oh, that's a win. I'll think through this idea. I can tell. Uh, he's well, not going to go. He's not going to go. He's better than he's not. Dave's, Dave's not brain true. is filled with 1997 junior boys playing hockey, <laughs> so I don't want to get in his way. <laughs> it was a dream project. It's a good idea. It's going to be a great show. Hello, they loaded up. They loaded up. Dave, have you thought about feeding? Have you thought about feeding your kid more than just pizza and skittles? That might be the problem. Oh yeah, she she does uh, she does chicken nuggets. She does. What else do you want? You want the whole list? Sure, um, <laughs> Kirk. Uh-huh. Just had, first have to get this out of the way. You're absolutely lying when you say that you're not looking forward to Yellowstone, Yellowstone season four and this prequel. It's show. become a sad definition of your existence, Ziggy. Right. Like you become the Yellowstone guy. It you're, really you're, has. You're, but you are you are you're not much better than this, but you are slightly better than this. Well, I mean, my whole my whole uh, existence kind of left, which That's is a true. good thing. But you are you are a man without a country right now. That is true. <laughs> that is absolutely how about correct. how about so Steve? How about, I, well, before you get to your stuff, I'll give you plenty of time. How about Steve on Twitter lately? What is going on? Did you see that story about it's like River Dave or River Dan, the guy in New Hampshire that's fighting to stay? Yes, yeah, uh, a ninety-seven-year-old guy with a beard. Yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be Steve, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, might be. It actually, might be. Yeah, so I do think uh, it's probably fair that I point the guns towards Dave a little bit because it's sure. kind of uh, going after producer. So, I mean, last week at this time, you were down on the Colonine experience. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would say this has probably been his best week, so I didn't know if your opinion has changed. I would agree with all. that. I would agree with that. Why? I would agree. Because uh, you've been way more, sub- you've, been, you've been normal. Neutered, yeah. Not neutered, normal. Okay. You've been normal. He's, you've been, been, he's been better since the Whitney episode. He's been mediocre this week. It's yeah. an upgrade. It's fair. Yeah, I was like, speaking of the Whitney episode, I was curious if um, Justin, if Dave insisted that he clean the bathroom after that one. <laughs> 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 Just one more quick thing, Kirk. Sure. Um, so we know kind of now, I guess, how you feel about Dave, but I am curious what the other people in your life uh, think about uh, Cullen. So like Ryan and Adam, what are their thoughts? Uh, I, you know, I don't, hmm. I don't know if you talked to Adam about it. <clears throat> Ryan is, Ryan was a Steve guy. Um, yeah, I, Adam must I, have been I don't think I've talked to anybody who's, who's enjoyed the Cullen experience yet. Wow. Mm. I mean, anywhere. Andy anywhere. Nolan. How about how about Andy Nolan? Um, he seems like a simple guy. Yeah. No. No. I mean, there are people. There are people who. There are people who like Dave. There are people who like Dave. Yeah. But I would say, like, you know, I, I I don't know. I think I do think. I think calling. Uh, yeah, it's been a good calling a week. I'd give I give Dave a B plus this week. And then I I was curious what uh how how your late father would. How, what he would think about Dave? Oh, he'd be, he, he would have no. He would. He would have. He would have thought Steve was like a professional. He would have been like. He would have hated the show anyway. But he like he just wouldn't have understood it. But he would have been nauseated by calling it. Why? Just because you're too <laughs> fucking stupid. Yeah, but if he met me in person, he'd be like, oh, he's a. Oh, you'd very him nice over for sure. No, I don't think. Yeah. You, I don't think you would feel yeah, that way. Very I, nice. Gentleman. I don't think you would feel. Probably that would have way. bothered him that he couldn't take a stand on anything. That's true. Yeah, that would bother him. Oh, please, yeah, that is true. Well, that, is true. Means, that is true. All right, Ziggy. Thank you. Bye. Hmm. Yeah, he's having a good week. It's fine. <laughs> doing a good job. Trying to sell yourself? I've said the whole time he's doing a good job. 774. Kirk, where are we at with the Sacco pre-show? Uh oh, yeah, we're not doing we're not doing anything. 
Justin's not why? reading. I don't think so. Nah, I think I'm, I'd rather just piss people off. And I think why can't why can't why can't Beyond Average come and oh, oh Jesus? Fuck. I knew it was heading there. No, I you know, people just like I'm to not, hang I'm, up. I'm curious. People just like to hang out and bullshit. Hey, it's like it's fine. We don't need to do anything. It's fine. Have fun. Do whatever. All right. All, All right, goodbye. well, I'm coming to do my show. I'm going to do it live from the parking lot either way. Okay, good enough. Good, good luck with that. Good. That's wonderful. Nice. People are really excited for that. There you go. Hello. Hey, guys. How you doing? What's up? Nothing. Uh, two things. Um, Dave, your girls would be at Rosa Lyons and Southie. You want to meet up for a drink and a selfie? That George chick is uh, All right. hey, we're, 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 What is it? We're good. I, I don't know. Who speed. cares? Jesus Christ. Oh, is he talking about Mike? Uh, yeah, okay. I have no idea what he's talking about. He was talking about the, the person running for mayor. Oh, okay. Sorry, I apologize. Go ahead. Hello. Hey, Kirk. How you doing? What's up? Uh, just calling. Um, I've often heard you talk uh, proudly about your time as a child living in Dilrica. Uh, and proudly. I, as a Dilrica guy myself, Yes. Uh, wondered, have you ever thought how your life would have changed had you stayed in Billerica as opposed to moving to Winchester? Uh, no, I mean, I don't know. It's a good question. Thanks for the call. I mean, it, I don't know. I mean, I was super passionate about movies and sports and stuff already. I was reading like crazy. Uh, maybe the high school was better. I, you know, I would have different friends, of course, but I don't think I'd, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I was right here right now. I was already kind of the person I was in a lot of ways. How old were you when you moved? Ten. All right. Like I was already super so, so that's stuff. a pretty big shift. I moved when I was nine, and it yeah. is it is kind of sucky. You do kind of come in as a new kid. You got to oh that true whole song yeah, but it doesn't take long. No. Know. All right. Hello. Hello. Oh, counters fell. Hey, uh, what's up? Thanks for taking my call, guys. Amy yeah. Davis is a great movie, by the way. It deserves to be on the list. I would agree with that. Um, I I want to start by saying I think uh, Quantum Week Chris Quantum Week Chris uh, is a great second chair. On the show, he's doing a, f- uh, I think he a swell a job. He's doing fine. Yep. Which director has yep. the most movies? Uh, I would. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, I, I would say Hitchcock, but probably not. He has four. He's tied with uh, Kubrick and Wilder. <laughs> I thought Kubrick would have been my second choice. I don't Spielberg, know. Spielberg five. Oh, really? Yeah. Private Ryan. Uh, I would guess in the end, list. Yeah. E. T. E. T. Uh, Close Encounters. We said that, right? The Close Cars fell out. Oh, so that's not one of the five? No. Maybe oh, Jaws. Yeah, Jaws would be there for sure. Uh, Private Ryan, Jaws. Is that five or no? We said a bunch. Private Ryan, Jaws, Schindler's List, E.T. What are we missing? Oh, Raiders is in there, I think. Same Private Ryan. Oh, same Private Ryan. But Raiders, I think, is in there, too, I think. I'll look again. It is. Is it? Yeah, it should be. Hello. Yes. Although well, that, that will get knocked um, out in the next one by the Jungle Cruise, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would suspect. <laughs> What's up? I would like to say on a completely different point, uh, I don't know if you listen to Bill Burr's podcast. I know Mike's not there. I don't. I know he definitely does. Yeah. But talk about a massive, sensitive pussy. He is so out of touch. Really? He has been saying in the last several podcasts that he hopes coronavirus gets worse so the unvaccinated all die. <laughs> really? And I just think. That is a fucking banana. Thing. <laughs> is he really sad? I There's kind of admire him for saying that. I don't know. I, I wish death. To God. I, I wish death on people. But, but but I wish death on people all the time. Why don't you get mad at me? You're a sarcastic asshole. Yeah, I, don't know, I, don't I feel I, you. I don't, I don't think you actually mean it. I think he <laughs> lives in a, on a hill in L.A. And so I he's just become like really you're saying he's become one of these one of these woke pussy boys. You're saying. No kidding, and it's so bad because it's such a. Let's get that sound, Dave, for next week. I'm curious. Yeah. Huh. Well, I'm listen got to Mike, plenty of opportunities. Mike it's twists been on like himself his in last three or four. It. All right, well, so thanks, Blake. Yeah, Mike's not going to like that call. No, no, no. He's sensitive right now wherever he's listening to this. Mm. I think Mike's heading to New Jersey right now, right? That's right. I think tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm sorry. They load up, Dave? Load up. All right. Hello. On this day three years ago when you were institutionalized, did you ever think you'd be sitting in a room with Dave Cullinane <laughs> and Quantum Week Chris? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, actually, probably. I think I was, as a matter of fact. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Okay, good all to right. talk to you. Hang yeah, in there. Good talk. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah, there you go. I wonder if I'll be in, in the in institutionalized again. Who knows? Had a good stretch here. It's been over a year, right? Or a year? It's true, yeah. It's oh, that's, that's... It's progress. I suspect I will be. Hello. What's up, Kirk? Question for you. 
the Barstool Arizona Bowl, would yeah. you be the play by play guy? No, I think Dave's I think they're looking at a couple of names I've been told, like real names, which I think is a mistake. I but I think Dave's got a, a, an internal battle here where he doesn't want it to be too stupid. If that makes sense. It, it I, is, I think it, uh, I think you would Oh, I would do a sensational job. I Don't get me wrong. Do a great job. Oh, I would do Are you going to go? Like if, they, uh, if they actually do a side on reporter or to do something pregame, oh, or I would go. If they want me to go, I'll go. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. You should be the radio guy at least. I'd be happy to do it. I'd be happy to do. It. I'd be happy to submit a tape if they need me to do that. Maybe we could set something up, Dave. I could certainly do a game. Yep. I could do a game. With my eyes closed. The football. I don't know who the color guy would be. You know, but yeah, I think it's going to be. I, I think this is going to be an awesome event because you know they're going to they're going to take it seriously, but also have some fun with it. It's going to be a massive barstool event. That's great. It's wild. They have they're doing a bowl game. That's awesome. That's all I got. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I liked it. Ugh. What's happening, Kurt? What's happening? What's shaking? What's shaking bacon, baby? There you go, motherfucker. What's up? That was terrible. Sorry. Um, hey, no offense to this uh, guy in the studio, but is your relationships with everybody in the state that bad that we're bringing in the same fan two weeks in a row? That's a good question. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> this, is what, this is what happens when you alienate everybody in the business. You have Kwame. I think Chris doing a good job today. Yes. No, yeah, yeah, nothing, no, nothing against him. I just, yeah, I can like, tell you like it. Who would you rather have? Hey, Give me some names. I'm, I'm, we're always open to names. Who you got? Oh no, no I, I don't have any suggestions. Or it's not my fucking show. Oh, I know. Well, you're calling in. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like, you have to be defensive. I'm, I'm legitimately asking for if you have any ideas. That's all. I'm always open to ideas. I, I, I no, just and I know they're obviously they're in New York, but I think some more of the Barstool guests. It's always yeah, great. sure. Yeah, we'll bring Gavin. He'll come in next Everybody week. Always yeah, it. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll bring, we'll bring Gavin. Uh, second thing, if you got time. I do. Go ahead. Um, so again, not to knock you or anything, but you're always kind of complaining about like you know <laughs> teachers and other people's jo- other people's yeah. jobs are yeah. you know, easy and whatnot. But sure. How is it any different when you're complaining about the show when you work like eight hours a week? <laughs> well, here's the thing, plain and simple. If a teacher uh, can get a shitload of people to watch them do a class and pay for stuff and pay for live shows, then they should do it. I'm not going to get in the way of that. Absolutely. Are a lot of teachers hey. working today? Yeah. Damn right. Damn well, right. That, I, damn is there right. a lot of teachers working today? I only took four weeks off this summer, buddy, okay? Maybe five. Oh, yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe five. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. All right. See you later. All right. Buddy. Thanks, Doug. Have a good weekend. Yeah. That's a great guy. Good guy. Hey, yeah, it's, hey. it's a legitimate question. You know. Very fair. These people don't even know the third year of the deal. 401. Are you ready? 401. Hey, Kirk, I have a question for you about the diet you were talking about last week. Yep. Go ahead. Did you say you uh, cut out chips? No, I said I cut minimal, minimal. Bake lays, minimal. Not as much as before. Okay. So I, I was going to say, eat the chips. Eat the chips. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry really thought that was going like, to take off and be like a Mitch album book for him. It just, <laughs> it, just, it just didn't have the momentum. He, and he, every year he tries to force it. Hashtag eat the chips, and it just doesn't. It did not happen. What's up, buddy? Hey, Kirk, what are your thoughts on the death of Christine Sullivan? Are you a Night Court guy? Oh, I know. Marky Post is dead. Jeez. But Night Club lost Charles Robinson a couple weeks ago, Harry Anderson a few years ago, and Marky Post. Yeah, I love Marky Post. Jeez. She was, what, 70? Yeah. 70, died of cancer. And she'd been sick for a while, right? Yeah, three years. Hey, did you ever beat off to her, Kirk? Um, it's funny you said that because I just urinated. Um, <laughs> I was going to ask if you're on the toilet right there. Yeah. Yep. Did a quick pop and squat there. Nice. Um, and, and who did you beat off to? Heather Thomas, Heather Locklear. Who, who were the TV girls that you, you, you cranked it to? Well, I didn't. I didn't do a lot of Marky Post. There was a penthouse form letter with Heather Locklear that my buddy Jim and I would pass back and forth uh, uh, over the years. It was a good, solid penthouse form letter by Heather Locklear. Um, but I remember in that letter, like in the Pedos form letters, the guys, I remember at one point the guy is like, you know, he's like, I was, I didn't have much, I wasn't a particularly well endowed man myself. I was a mere 10 inches. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like at the age where I was like, Jesus. I'm <laughs> but Marky Post was, was, and she was great. She was also something about Mary too. Don't forget. She was uh, Cameron Diaz's mom in that. And they're rebooting Night Court. I'm guessing she's not going to be uh, part of that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Cool. Okay. Well, save, save. Maybe. Save your, save your joke. She'll be annoying us at the Wilbur soon. Sure. <laughs> 207. 
Hey, Kirk, how are you, buddy? What's up? Hey, uh, I'm getting some old Stern Show vibes with Justin on the live mic now and Mike in there and phoning, chatting away like a Yenta. Um, I'm thinking Justin can earn his full-time job by uh, writing you some jokes like Benji and adding some value throughout the show. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I know Mike has brought this up, too. He didn't know it. Like, it is funny. Like, Stern had people just writing jokes for him the whole time. We should get Jackie Marling on, Dave. I- I'd like that. Wouldn't you like that, Mike? All right, that'd be great. Yeah, let's do that, huh? All Good. right, I'm on it. Hi, Kirk. Did, do you have any update on season one? Did Kevin Mailer ever go to court? It got postponed. He's supposed to be there uh, in a week or two. Um, I have heard that he has – some people have told me he's already agreed to uh, – to a prison sentence. Um, I don't know that yet. I'm still trying to figure that out as well. Uh, but I will, I will keep you updated. When we know anything, we'll probably jump in and do a, a show when that's, when that's finalized. Did he, did he, do you think he made a deal? I think so. I, well, I mean, that's what a couple people have told me. Somebody told me he didn't. So I'm still trying to figure that out. Do you need okay. me to, do you need me to edit that podcast that nope, you're going to do? No, 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 no. All right. No. All right. No. 413. Kirk, did you uh, read that story about the uh, first ever Kirk Benet and the athlete? First ever what? I'm sorry. The uh, Kirk Minahan the athlete, the guy who called in, the young kid who called in uh, last was this? week. I don't even know. There's an story. article about him. Yeah, I didn't see the article. Who is this? What last kid? week a kid, yeah, a 17 yeah, year old, called and asked if he could be the Kirk Minahan athlete, and you said yes. I do not remember that. But He's okay, the kid who go drops ahead. the f bombs all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah, yeah. They they looked into his uh, past um, tweets. Apparently, he was kicked off Prob- uh, both pro- teams pro- for pro- um... pro- problematic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of uh, threatening tweets to Carano. So, therefore, the first ever Kirkman and athlete is loophole. Yeah, baby. Is this this is loophole right for the here? Good guy. Yes, this is loophole. Oh, hello, Lou. You got Let it. Me baby. Ask, what is new loophole loophole in the uh, in your career? Any matches lately? Anything going on? You know what? There's a couple local. I'm still trying to get booked. I think I need star power, so I, I might need blind Mike to show up with his uh, his uh, seeing eye stick and uh, maybe <laughs> would... a rule book in Braille. <laughs> I would make a wacky and, wrestling. Uh, fight. Well, in the eighties, you know, yeah, in the eighties, there's always my manager. A, there's... Yeah, in the eighties, I grew up. There's always a a buxom valet bring a bring a guy <laughs> down to the ring. I could, that, that, that it doesn't work. fly anymore. I'd be showing too much skin. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it doesn't work in today's. That's true. Hey, goodbye. Sorry. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, Kirk, uh, following that segment, this is going to give you uh, more ammo for the, the Kill Yourself date. I'm going to give you a date. It's September 6th. That's based on analytical data that I've uh, okay. compiled because I'm a psychopath like Tim, Tim and Ken. On September 6th, Dave is scheduled to have said more words on the Kirk Minahan show <laughs> than Steve did in the entirety of his time. Dave There's right no now is I, would like, I would like to see that. There's no way. Yep. Yep. I'd like I'll, to see I'll, it. I'll tell you, I'll I'd tell like you to see now. it. I'll tell you right now. I did. Well, I shut did the fuck the up, word. Dave, and I'll let you fucking give it to you, fucking asshole. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dave averages 20. Dave averages 25,800 words a show on a two-hour right. show. Kirk right. averages mm-hmm. 23,160 <laughs> words. Right. And, Steve, right. right. and Steve, on a two-hour average show, averaged 15,480. So he's fucking almost doubling Steve talking. And he's fucking more than you, almost 2,000 more words than you a show. I know it. He's a fucking sociopath, and he needs to fucking walk off the fucking (laughs) roof. You you, got to shut up too, buddy. Jesus, relax, relax, relax. Five four zero. Hey, Kirk, it's Garen Olson. (laughs) 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 Hello, Garen Olson. (laughs) Hello, Garen Olson. How are you? I'm good. I just want to call in and update you guys on kind of my situation where I'm at. Um, first off, Cullinane is just not, I don't know, he's not working. There's something about, I can't quite put my finger on it, but he's not, he's not working out for me. I miss, I miss big Steve. Um, 
I try to get into a digital platform, um, but it's really hard to penetrate that type of thing without a big, you know, <laughs> like a podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we, we got you. We have but in the meantime. <laughs> hmm? Okay, well, fuck it. I tried. That's okay. That wasn't bad. I, we, I enjoyed us. All right, let's go. We'll take a few. By Jesus Christ. Hi. Um, first time, long time. Uh, Kirk, I was just wondering if you could give me some marriage advice, some relationship advice. What's the, what's, do you have some issues? Hello? Nope. Hello? Hello? Could, did you hear him or no? I cannot hear Kirk. I'm looking for Kirk, not Dave or Mike or Justin. Okay. Okay. Well, well, all right. We're going to say, hold on. Let me change it. Not going well, <laughs> Dave. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Hey. Uh, Kirk, I have one observation and one question for you. So I know we're all mourning the death of Maki Post in many ways. I can't, right? I can't hear anybody. Um, what is this? Oh, no, he can't, can't hear them? No, you can't hear him? I can't hear anybody. No, stop. You're lying. I know you're lying. I can't. <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear the caller. <laughs> you can hear me, but you can't. I don't believe, I don't know if I believe you. Okay. I mean, is he on now? Yeah. Is she? Hello? He's just talking. Well, play Still it. Yes. Go ahead. Can you hear me, Kirk? Go ahead. Kirk, can you hear me? <laughs> well, I mean, what no, are we doing Dave, here? Dave, Dave, <laughs> no, this is not. This is the same thing that, ha- that someone needs to go back to prison. Why is it going to talk or not? Is it going to go or no? What he, are we? Hello. He is talking. Uh, uh, I can hear Tim fine. I am. I talking. knew it. You fucking <laughs> asshole. I knew <laughs> it. You, you fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Can you can you send can you send Dave to remedial producer school at like the I as an intern or something? He's, so, he's, he's, he's Kirk, one again. observation. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is. Um, there was another cast member that just recently died from uh, Night Court. Uh, a pretty well-known cast member just died July 11th. There was nary a word about it. Charles Ross. Remember Mac? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I said that when uh, the person called the other day. About, I think it was Kevin from Bristol. Yeah, it was. he was good in that show. I like Night Court got lost in the... Yeah, uh, that's one. Is not is not for some reason carried over into the next generation like the other. It, it wasn't as successful. Put it this way, like Cheers was so successful that later on there was a show that covered <laughs> nearly six episodes of the two hundred episodes of the series. Like I, <laughs> I, like, I heard that when uh, Chris was in, I liked that it, it was like I quit. I was like, ah, if I'm leaving this show, it's too much for me. I quit everything. <laughs> What's well, tremendous? Well, yeah, but I do think you know you used to talk about the Minute fans, but I do think the week in week out grind of, cheers. of that Cheers podcast, the specter of it looming over you. It did what, was get the name of, what was the name of it again? Everybody knows we're lame. Correct. Well, yes. you know when you pointed out the Woody Boyd thing, I was like, oh god, he's, <laughs> he's got a point. <laughs> I mean, that's like you know when you are early on in your career, like Coppola when he had the Godfather's one and two and Apocalypse Now, like. You're done after that. How do you top it? It's, it's been tough. It's been tough. Yeah, once you were Chris, you, you, you and Chris must have done a Harry Anderson episode or two, right? Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. He was on a bunch of those, too. And I, Marky Post played Diane's best friend in an episode of Cheers. I don't know if we got there. I can't remember. No, that was like episode 11 or 12. Okay. So probably, probably, we, we did get there then. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So, hey, hey, can I ask a trivia question? Go ahead, Tim. This is for your KMS trivia. Uh, you said many times who you hated working with at EEI, but who was the biggest prick you worked with over at, uh, what was it, Comcast, Sportsnet? Oh, I, I, bet, mean, I bet I know. I, I, would, I would say Gresh. That's what I, was, that's what I figured. Am I missing something? Haggerty or Gresh, I would say. Ooh, would you put him at a tie? Or This is going to oh, be well, crucial because well, it will be a question and answer. Gresh, I'd say Gresh. Excellent. Thank yeah. you very much. Carry on. No. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy to help. What a strange day. <laughs> and then he's going to go back to his family and live There's a normal no life. Stra- there, there is no show stranger than this show. I know we don't. <laughs> I know it's like so obvious you need to talk about it, but sometimes you do like. Like this show is so fucking bizarre. It really is. <laughs> like, what is the point anyway? Really. <laughs> I like to just imagine what Tim's doing now. Like, what <laughs> What did he need that for? This kid's probably choking to death in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. 
Hey, Kirk, it's David Ortiz. Hello. Oh, yeah. Episode two is out. Is that right? Or out today? Or yes, noon. Today. I think right. Uh, yeah. Episode two out today at noon. Uh, Mike, I wanted to let you know, ain't nobody gonna download your podcast. Uh, nobody. Uh, and uh, hey, Mike, you have a problem with me? I don't like that, David. Patreon.com slash blind Mike is, is uh, very popular. We're doing well. Absolutely. Uh, call him Papi, a uh, big Papi to most. Uh, I have to go. Goodbye. Oh, not, okay. a lot, not a lot from Big Poppy. Today, <laughs> I thought we were okay. going to go nice back and forth a little. Nice <laughs> I thought he was going to trash yeah, me, yeah. and I'd zing him back. Hi, Kirk. I'm just calling back for that relationship advice from my husband. <laughs> okay. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Doesn't sound, Okay, what's the issue? I, he is just such a sensitive pussy with no backbone whatsoever. <laughs> All right, which one of us is it? <laughs> okay, and what's your husband's name? <laughs> oh, right, I'm not married. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not say just to just to protect his identity. What does he do for, he what he do for a job? Out of curiosity, uh, he works in the media world. Mm-hmm. Is he a producer? Yeah, he is. Okay. Phew. So, what what are some of the examples that have been going on with him being sensitive? He comes home and he, he does this big "I'm so tough" macho mentality, and I listen to his podcast and. One day he was getting into a conversation with his coworkers about calling someone coach and sticking <laughs> up to it, and they, yeah. just, they just gave him a different opinion and told him he was an idiot, and he turtled like a little Not pussy true. bitch. And just, Not true. Just, well, Dave, why don't you, Dave, why don't you talk? Why don't you talk to your wife here? I, I, I don't know why. Have, uh, Holly, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's not true, Holly. Actually, I didn't turtle, and it, first of all, it was two against one, and I just said that I was open to their side of the story. I didn't turtle with anything. I would still call that person coach. Dave, Dave, how come the other day you were so excited to leave us and the kids? Oh, I just got to get out of the house and go to the Wilbur Be a Man show, and you're you cock of the walk around the house. And then Kurt goes, oh, you're not really going to that. And then the next day it's, oh, I'm not going. That's stupid. Blah, blah, blah. No, you're just such Holly. a big pussy, uh, Holly, you're just, you're just, tired of No, it. you're just, you're getting the story wrong, Holly. I don't Holly, know. Holly, you know. got it. You Maybe we do How come, how come, <laughs> Dave, 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 shut the Very fuck sexy. up. How come the well, other day, Holly, Jesus. No, the other yeah, day, okay. <laughs> The other day, you came home, and I was fucking Tom Shattuck, and you did nothing oh about it. Oh, my God. was a nice guy. I mean, Holly, Tom wouldn't do that. What a good guy. <laughs> Tom seems like a nice man. Wow. I'm just looking for some advice, Kirk. Maybe you know him better, but I can't just stand how big of a pussy he is these days. Uh, yeah, no, I, Hall, I, well, I think you, this is an issue. I'm not going to be in the middle of this, so I'm not touching it. Um yeah. This might be more Boy, for a marriage weird. counselor than that, a that, public... Uh... That, that... <laughs> All right, 6 one Hey, Kirk. Little you know people what I think of that? The show is, show, is, show is not strange. Very right? normal. No, no, no. I'm taking back. Uh, I was thinking What's the same that? thing. I was like, you you break down the greatest show on television. Who is this? It's Little People, Big World Guy, Kirk. I can't help you here. I, I, I found, Last night, this, this Marriott does not have the learning. doesn't have TLC. That's fine. Honestly, we way to the sauce last night. It was the season finale. The show that it's so terrible at saying when the season's going to end. But I was actually watching some older episodes, getting okay. ready for my uh, new Patreon, uh, going over some stuff. And do you remember Ooh. when Zach had his like uh, international soccer team thing for the little yes. people? <laughs> yes, I do. So watching back, you'll never guess who was the goalie for the Australian team. The goalie for the Australian team. Uh, for yep. little people. Uh, I'm going to guess. I'm going to take a wild guess that it's Menners, no? You, yeah, you got it. I'll talk yeah. to you uh, I'll talk yeah. to you on Monday. Get okay. a chance to catch up. <laughs> See you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's a little yes. awkward that I'm calling after Cullinane's wife. Uh, wife, I was hoping to dive into the uh, the Davy Cullinane vault a little bit here. Dave, can we dive into it a little bit? Do what you got to do. Sure. Do you remember your first blowjob? Uh, yes, I do. How long did it take for the guy to come? There you go. <laughs> oh, the punch Always. Wow. No, it's no, never very funny. Kirk, 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 Kirk,
Mikey, you see what I did there? It's called yeah, setting yeah. up a joke, buddy. You don't just <laughs> dive right into it. You set it up a little bit, right? Yeah, Bring them along, and the fucking idiot jumped right in. I, I'm listen taking notes. Around. All right, take care. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Yep. Heading up, heading up to Kenny Bunkport, Maine, this weekend. Is mm-hmm. the clam shack worth all the hype? Well, I'm not a big clam consumer. I will say my friend Steve Kingston, uh, the great Steve Kingston, owns a clam shack. Great guy. Huge Minna fan. Uh, awesome, awesome guy. If you go there and you tell him uh, that you're a listener of the show, he'll be, you know, he'll be great to you. And I mean, and he was so awesome, my parents. He came all the way down when, to, to the wakes and stuff. Great guy. And the place does tremendous. Okay, he's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. He's, so, the, uh, he's the king of the lobster roll. Okay. So that was my next question. If you're not a clam guy, you uh, is the lobster roll must do mayo or here's butter? I, here, no, here's what I get: the clam shack. I get a plain hot dog, French fries, and a coke. Hmm. Wow. Alrighty. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Just being honest with you, I'm a picky eater. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Uh, is this um, uh, is this the clinic? Sure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just calling to. I'm sorry. Um, is this is Nustin. Uh, just, I, yeah, I think I'm, so. This is Nustin. I'm trying to do a bit here. If you like, not to step all over it, that'd I be like, great. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get away. It's going, it's going pretty well. <laughs> take it. Take it from the top. <laughs> yeah. Let's start over again. Okay, Mike's ready? right. All right. Go. All right Let's okay, start over again, Nustin. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Hi, this is this is the clinic. Who am I speaking to? Oh, uh, uh, this is um, Nustin. Uh, okay. I'm just looking for the results of my test. What uh, tests would you? What tests were you taking here, Nustin? I'm, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything here on my monitor. Uh, it was. It was involving my um, penis. Let me see, penis, <laughs> Nustin. Oh yes, yep, yep. Here are the tests. They're uh, positive. It's positive. Mm-hmm. So it's off. Yes, it's <laughs> off. My penis is completely off. Is that what you're telling me right now? Yes, I am. Your penis is completely off, Nustin. Yes. God damn it. Not again. <laughs> He's sucking me into the character. <laughs> There's a payoff coming. I can feel it. That was the entire payoff. Um, how are you? So my power went off last night. Uh huh. Are are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Like, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. You have power. You're fine. I have not lost any. Some people in Iowa did lose power yesterday, Nustin. I did see that with all the storms. You might have got some of the same storms I uh, experienced. Um, but yeah, no, 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 no issues here. The hotel had power. I think the whole night through, no problems. Okay. Um, are you looking for live show ideas? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Of course I am. Sure. From you, definitely. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. A live wrestling event. A live what? Wrestling event. Where you, okay. you Kirk, and Mike, who can't mm-hmm. see. You're right, that's true. Dave, mm-hmm. who can't see. Mm-hmm. And Justin, mm-hmm. commentate the wrestling Okay. Well, it was nice to talk to you. Again. Yeah, I'm going to drop him now. So, right. <laughs> All right, one more, and we'll get out of here. 617. Hi, how are you, Kirk? I'm, it's it's me, the Duke of Duck Sauce. It's the, it's the Duke of Duck Sauce here. What is that twerp Carabas giving Sam Kennedy a hand dookie? I've picked chunks of MSG out of my stool from the car loom before that little twerp tried to muscle in. Sure. Uh, I know a little something about radio. Uh, oh, it's Kirk, radio. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's the Duke of Duck Sauce. Uh, I got you. I got you. I'm, I'm not Eddie. Eddie. I'm, the, I'm the Duke of Duck Sauce. Uh, yes. So well, I, I, you know, I was trying to horn in on my Kowloon action. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Eddie. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't know Eddie Endelman well enough to get that bit. <laughs> yeah, that was Eddie's hole. <laughs> I think I know uh, a thing or two more than you, caller, about this uh, situation. <laughs> yes. All right. One more, Dave. All right. I don't think we can have him like that. Although maybe we can. Four one. 
Hey, Kirk. Uh, speaking of the Red Sox, I've just been wondering, since you've kind of become uh, gone out publicly as a big Yankee fan, would you uh-huh. ever do a video with 50 and you guys can kind of give each other, like, guff? Ooh, that'd be good. <laughs> going uh, back and forth. I, well, like you go back and forth, you know, Red second. Sox Yankees, well, once It's you know. ironic you're saying this. Uh, text from Justin. I thought the Duke of Duck Sauce was Fitzy. Oh, Ooh. pretty good. You're not again. You're not supposed to say that though. When it's that good, I can't steal it from somebody. Oh yeah. Though. Okay. I'm no. Uh, you know, I'm no Dennis Leary. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. All right. There you go, buddy. Thanks. Can we take one more call? It's not. You know. I don't know. Uh, sure. Hey, Kirk. What's up? What's up? Hey, it's Dino Roger. Hey, Dino. What's up, buddy? Not, so you must be enjoying Iowa. That's the home of Brett Zabo, Ray for Friends. That's right. The the greatest white Ray for, well, yep. I mean, you, you look at that, um, right? Don't, but yeah. I'm a Hall of Famer, so my, my perspective True. counts. So True. I, I, I have apologize. two questions for you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Two questions for you. So are you, are you frustrated at all with Steve being full of shit? Because you can see the way he's posting and the way he's conducting business online means he hasn't remotely checked out. So he was full of it. Like, does he even have that van that he sits bought? I think these are all fair questions, Dino. Uh, I don't know what Steve is doing right now. He is clearly like uh, what, what is obvious about Steve, and this is not even a criticism, is that, you know, he like what we do on this show, some of it appealed to him. But clearly, he never cared about any of the other stupid, goofy, frilly stuff. And he tried to be a good sport and play along with it. But I think he just got sick of it. 858, can you hear me? Yeah, Turkey. Mm-hmm. Hi. It's Thick Reeves. Oh. It's who? Thick Reeves. Christopher Reeves? No, I'm kidding. Rick. It's Rick Steve's dummy. How are you? Hello, Rick. How are you? Just a quick question, Turkey. John called a few weeks ago about musicals. I was wondering how you thought about the Clint Eastwood Lee Marvin musical, Paint Your Wagon. Paint Your Wagon? It's not one of my favorite films. No, it's not one of my favorite films. You know Gene Seberg was in that film, Kirk. Oh, is that right? Yeah, and you know what state she's from? Uh, Iowa? Iowa's right. There Listen, you know. Kirk, are you going to make it to Italy? I don't want to. I know you haven't been yeah, to Italy. We're done with okay, that. Okay. All right. Am I going to make it to Italy, did he say? I don't know what that meant. Yeah. Okay. Hey, um, I just had a thought on the uh, Podfathers podcast the other day. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, so I, I haven't listened to it yet. But I'm just gonna well, make a prediction. You should probably, you should, you should probably listen good. to it before you, uh, you know. I'll make a prediction that it's, it's a good sure. back and forth. There's some point counterpoints. <laughs> I know my man. Tap, he wouldn't. He would. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have someone on just to tell him what a loving father he is. You know. And no, it's and Big Cat. He's not going to go on there just to be Dale Arnold and say how brave. That's not how it's going to go. Um, yeah, I, I haven't listened to the whole thing either. I'm sus- I'm, I suspect that there was not a lot of dissension in the room during the conversation. Not that there has to be necessarily, but you know, um, hmm, trying to kind of phrase it. I think there was an awareness that there was going to be a lot of applause on Twitter. How's that? Seven eight one. Cookie. Hmm. What's going on? This is KB. KB. What's up, Katie? Yeah, what's going how on? How you doing? Oh, perfect. We got him, Justin. See? There we go. Not bad. What's new with you? Justin, how you doing? Doing great. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'm over in Odetum right now. You're in Dedham? Yeah, I'm at a... I'm at the store. I'm at a Banana Republic. <laughs> You're at the Banana Republic in Dedham? Yeah, I've been here for about an hour. I'm trying to decide on what trip we get. Oh, I might need uh, to maybe, help maybe, a maybe I could, yeah, sure. What, what do you, what, what are the, what are the options? You're not working today. Well, I get this. I'm on my break right now. I'm on a lunch break. But. That's a long lunch break and an early one. And you're getting a shirt. Yeah, it's my new job. You know, but anyway, anyway. Um, sure, sure. So no, I'm the, sorry. The red shirt. Get, yeah. with, right. The red shirt with a mm-hmm. killer whale on it, and then the, a green shirt <laughs> with mm-hmm. a sea lion on it. Hmm. I just can't. I've been here for an hour trying to pick. I don't know. 
I like I like I like, green on you better. I, I like I like green on you, KB. I like green. I would go personally. I would go green. I've heard that before, so that makes sense. Yeah, it's coming from you it means a lot. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, it means a lot that you would ask me. Go, you go with the green so, shirt. How's how's everything else going? It's going good. You know, I'm over in this area now. I'm mm-hmm. out of Hingham, so good riddance You're for out that. Of okay. That yeah, right. that was that wasn't great. Is it, the commute? I mean, the but, commute hasn't worn you down at all. No, no. no I, I drove from Queens this morning. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't okay. that much traffic. <laughs> what time did you leave? Couple, Katie? couple of spots. I left around one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I would say it's got to be no. Yeah, that's the around, the traffic. Here. Yeah, I got here around like six. Okay, what time do you leave tonight? To, you heading back to Queens tonight? You staying in the area or? Uh, tonight I'm going back for the weekend, you know. Jesus, that's tough. Man, you are an animal. Uh, hey, well, how'd you guys do? Did you guys win no, the no, match this week with, with Frank or no? Yeah, it was close. It was it came down to the, to the last uh, question. You, you, you didn't see it? I, I, I did. I did. I just didn't remember if you guys won or lost. You, oh, that's right. It was uh, You came back, right? You were losing? One by one. Yeah, we were, yes. we were losing. Freaking out. Frank was going crazy. Yeah. I did see that. I did see that. Well, all right. But have a good weekend. I just want, Check in. Okay. Hey, hey, uh, before I go, before I go, I just wanted to sure. tell Justin, if you ever want me on the show, or, or Dave, give me a, give me a ring or open in my DMs and ask me. I'll, I'm, I'll be glad to come on. Appreciate it. That's Perfect. Good idea. That's awesome. Yeah. Appreciate it. Should have thought of that, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. 636. Hey, Kirk. Now that you're a truck guy, Think about checking out uh, Sirius XM Channel 60 Outlaw Country. Oh, yeah. one by, second. Sorry. Uh, give, me, give me a second. <laughs> oh, if you see us, you're not Dave, but. Man, oh, I see it right now. now. Oh, nice. That's yeah, cool. Pack, That's yeah, cool stuff. I have a pack of fat one. I pack <laughs> like two pounds worth. Oh, there we go. This is what I do now in the car. I get a, I get a grate like this, and I pack it in here like as a fatty, and I kind of spit in my cup sometimes. Yeah. I do listen to country music when I do it, too, there. Yeah, that's just a good look. Yeah. I've listened to that channel before. I like that channel. It's yeah, good. I mean, it plays like Tom Petty and uh, Bruce Springsteen and Neely Collins every now and then. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it. Yeah, I'll mm-hmm. listen to it. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, let's see here. Six three zero. Look down on you later. That's why I say these car drivers. Hello. Hey, Kirky, you watched the Field of Dreams game last night? Uh, we talked about it already. Oh, all right, never mind that. Have a good one. <laughs> what if he had a good take on it? I can't even imagine how he would be a good yeah, take I on that. I know what to offer there. All right, six one seven. I mean. Uh, Kirk, did you uh, see Kevin's performance yesterday? On uh, <laughs> it, it was dominant. He was incredible. He is a fucking lunatic. Who, Clancy? I mean, uh, oh, uh, just every single time he gets one question right, he's losing his fucking mind. But I think he only got my one other question, question right on the himself, I, did, I, I think so, yeah. So that's probably why it's stuck in my memory that he lost his mind on it but i did see mikey fowler with his new kirk minahan show i sure. did see did that he, i assume conan sent i assume conan sent that to him i did not so thank you that's that's a that did not happen question. i did respond what's, to it but that did not happen what's that caller what's that buddy I, I, I didn't know if he was i didn't know if he was replacing somebody on your team and uh weapon the show no, I think he's on the bench. I think if we have any issues with but Rico right now, the team is, I think, ready to go for Wednesday night when we play uh, this team. So I think it's a big it's a big test. This is our first time as a as, with the three of us together. So we'll see how it goes. And it's not going to be Brandon Walker since he's a baby and requested like four months off because he hasn't gotten anything right this year. Has he really? I didn't even see that. I didn't know yeah, that. Last right, thanks for the call. The uh, I don't need to get into the minutiae of this. Hey, gentlemen. It's Eric here in Texas. How y'all doing this morning? What's up, Eric? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Doing good. Um, I know you're a fan of the movie Sideways, and I assume you read the book. Did you hear that they're making a musical out of it now? 
I did read that. I think, uh, yeah, that's, I'm not. I'm not off to, I, I have no interest in that. I, I, I don't understand. It's not. What what songs can you possibly make out of that movie? I mean, you could do it for you know. I mean, you could do it for anything. I guess it depends on how you look at it, right? I mean, if they make it into a music, like you know, Virginia Madsen could have a sad, lonely song, and he could, you know, I guess. I mean, it's going to be fun. Musicals are terrible anyway. Yeah, hey, man, I didn't get it. I just didn't know if you'd heard it or not. All right, thanks, guys. I did have hear a good it, yeah. weekend. All right, all right. See you, bye. Six oh three. Hey, Kirk, when are all these dopes that call you going to realize you don't want to be asked how you're doing or how's it going when they first call? You've got to get to the fucking point and be done with it. They're nervous. They're excited. You know, it's an exciting. You, don't, you, you may be different. And I think Dave and Justin have seen me so much now. But there is, when you see me, and you'll see it in Saco, a level of nervousness and excitement to be in the same room with me. I can respect that. Or talk to me on the phone. It's, a, it's an incredible, incredible experience. I talked to Dave on the phone the other day for almost 15 seconds. Yeah. It was very exciting. It's, it's quite, it, it is an intimidating process to have that, uh, to have I you called in your him, presence. I called him and then I could not get off the phone fast enough. Yeah, I knew. I was, like, just like, I was actually surprised. You brought something else. I, I was surprised you called. I, was, I thought you would have texted that issue. No? I was driving in the middle of nowhere, oh, Iowa. And yeah. I was like, because it was, I felt bad because you always say to stay. I don't have to stay on the end of this now, right? Uh, it's, you should, but just like a couple, just like a minute. Nothing, nothing too crazy. But pure class. I forgot, yeah. I forgot and I called to say, hey, I want to make sure it was okay. You're right. I appreciated that. All right. What do you want, buddy? Uh, 914. That's it? You gave up on the New Hampshire guy? Yeah. Like he, he dropped. He wanted to just uh, say that and then drop. Okay. Maybe it would have been cool to have Tom Cruise in the studio today, but you know what? That would have been a mission impossible. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. Anyway, <laughs> love it. Not um, bad. It's William Cosby. Uh, Kirk, I'm just giving you a call because given where you are in the country, I feel like I owe you. <laughs> Not bad. Two for it. two here in Iowa. I got gotcha. you. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open up for you at the Wilbur. That's all I got. Actually, uh, I'm taking a shit right now. But why do they call it taking a shit? I'm really releasing one, you know. I'll open for the Willie Wilbur. Oh yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, yeah, good. There Look you forward go. To it. I will. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. You All right. What's up? Three one five. Hello, Kirk. <laughs> this is Julie DeCaro's mother. Oh, oh. Mrs. DeCaro, how are you? I'm just calling to let you know that my daughter is going to wipe the floor with you in this lawsuit. Could she happen. She may not have any legal standing. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's true. You. She might. She, she's got I, a lot of heart. I hope so, Mrs. DeCaro. I hope she, you know, it's, it's a terrible thing that Justin did. And whatever. <laughs> what? Well, that's I a great angle. That. Those young whippersnappers these days, they've got no respect I for agree. their elders. I agree. And if they Justin just decides to perform want, some action out of do. guilt, I hope that Julie doesn't have to live with that. That's all I would say. That's all I'm going to say. She's that. got a good law. Okay, Mr. DeCar. It's more about me than you. But thank you. <laughs> they load up? Yep. Right, take a few more. Hey, Kirk. Hey, Mike. It's uh, Matt Damon. What are the odds? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Hey, we're talking about Fat Damon. Wow. Matt Damon, how are you? Just hanging out at home here with my girls. I'm actually Careful, doing Matt. a... Crossword puzzle? No. Okay. okay. Well, all right. No. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Tread call. lightly here. How many, how many letters? <laughs> Giving you a call. I need some help. It's sure. a three-letter word. It's a no slang death. term, English, yep. British term uh-huh. for cigarettes. Uh, boy. Uh, Got any letters? Oh, boy. I think I know it. All right. Well, <laughs> it happens, man. All right, Matt. Oh, oh, I don't want to say it. Yeah, don't say it. Don't <laughs> you, you promised you wouldn't. Probably best for all of us. Makes, makes Dave's job easier. I'm going to skip this one. All right, Matt. I'll skip this one. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Talk to you later. 617. Kirk, I need to know uh, how you would react to this golf story that just happened to me. Um, so, long story short, I'm playing with this guy about a month ago at the, at the country club where this member guest is, mm-hmm. um, that's happening right now. Mm-hmm. And the guy asked me, you know, I, barely, I, I really don't know this guy at all well. And he asked me, you know, on the ninth hole or so, if I wanted to be his partner in this tournament. And I said, yes, it's a four day member guest, Ugh. really nice tournament, but something to be excited about. Yeah. Um, and about four days ago, this guy's out golfing on the course and apparently he shits himself so bad 
that he gets kicked out of the course, and now we're we're not playing the tournament. He called me to tell me this yesterday, and our tee time was for this morning at eight forty. Okay. Well, thank you for the call. Yeah. I don't have a lot of thoughts. It's tough one to analyze. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it sounds like the story kind of tells itself, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I feel bad. I mean, I feel terrible. It is a funny that. story. I guess I, I mean, shit himself. If you believe it, if the guy called him and told him he shit uh, himself, perhaps. I mean, it seems to be a. It's possible. I guess it's possible. People I, shit themselves. Go ahead. Five oh eight. Hello. Bye, boy. Goodbye. All right. Thanks, Jack Mack tweet is basically going viral. What's you saying? Huh? Oh, you the know, pat- why do they jump. call it the field of dreams? The field isn't made of dreams. Hey, guys, it's Louis C.K. Oh, boy. Hey, Louis, how are you? Changing his material. Uh, you know, guys, I, I'm great. I've been, I've been working on some stuff. Um, I think I could try it out with you guys. Sure. Yeah, you ready, Mike? I'm I'm ready. Michael Laffey this is, this is not funny, but this is an honor. Hey, we know that. <laughs> He's a fan. I'm a fan. So, you know, I was I was hanging with my kids the other day and we were reading this book about um a dog and the dog was big mm-hmm. and it was red. And I just thought thinking to myself, why is it, why is it red? That's so silly. Mm-hmm. That's all I got, guys. Thank you. All right, Louis, <laughs> see you. All right, one or two more. Hello. Kirk. Mm-hmm. Kirk, it's Matt Damon. Did you just call us, Matt? Oh shit! All right, goodbye. <laughs> oh, a different Matt. Are they really up there? Yeah, no, it was a different Matt David. I think. Oh, was it? I thought he was still, thought he was oh, still really? doing that cross. Oh, sorry, Matt. I think, that was that, I think that was that person's first call. I didn't see oh, other calls. Well, sorry, Matt. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hey, Kirk. What's Old up, people? Big wall guy. Hey, what's up? Did you uh, get a? Did you I, get a chance to watch the finale? I am caught up. I am completely caught up. I found that I found the finale, frankly, a little underwhelming. Like, there's too much. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, uh, clearly, like Amy hates them so much, but yet they're trying to seem like they're friends. That's a very. I thought it'd be a very odd episode. Yeah, the campfire was extremely awkward with Karen taking the granddaughter. That was very strange. Was that was a strange, super strange. Good power move, though. I liked it. I did like that. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed Chris's best man. Um, they're just as bad as Amy's fake friends, but he kind of has a resemblance to a certain enemy of yours. I don't know if you picked up on that at all. Riccio? No. Murchison? Uh, the other one. The, yeah. He's oh, not, really? He's I gotta, oh, I got to go back and look. look. And this is the guy who's going to be. He looked a little bit like him. And they made this whole thing about how they have to go to the, to the, to the, bar, to the farm to measure out. The, I'm like, couldn't they just measure it out and tell the guy how far the walk is? Like, there's such an obvious reason to bring <laughs> everyone there. It was so dumb. And then Matt comes rolling exactly. in. It's become such a staged show now where it's, I, I'll watch it till they get rid of it, but. I was I was frustrated. I thought it to be like they're not going to give us the wedding. Like what the fuck? Well, I was I was assuming that's going to be a special. So you think have like a whole wedding like spectacular, next, like in like September or something? Yeah, you would figure because they didn't announce like if it's a season finale or anything. So I don't know. It wasn't on. It, yeah, about it wasn't it. on this week or anything though. Like they, like, I think the way they wrap. I don't know. And and like the, the, how many scenes do you have to see them all sitting around the campfire pretending they like each other? Like everyone hates each other. I know. It's the funniest because Matt's always like, oh, the whole gang's going to get together for uh, to check out my cabin. And then, of course, it's just the same old crew. Right. Matt it's and just kids and Amy and Chris. There's a lot so. of weird stuff going on there. A lot of straight. But yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm in like Matt is really not going to be at the wedding. That seems nuts. Like just from a television perspective, I, I, he has to be there. And Chris clearly wants him there. And it, it's like every episode, I feel like they're just like pushing it and pushing it. And how rude was it of Chris? to bring the specialty drink, which I'm so sick of hearing about oh, every shit. episode about these specialty drinks. Like they're 21 years old to bring them to the campfire. And like, here's what you won't be drinking at our wedding. <laughs> right, How true. extremely rude was that? And like, you know, like they're, they're, like, they're not Amy. So me like Matt is bending over backwards, like for this wedding for them. Like he's, you know, are they paying him? Is already, you know, I, I don't get it. There's de- they're definitely not. And he, he bought all those wildflowers and they went and planted them all. She, she's so, Oh, she sucks. She sucks. I, I hate her. I do feel bad for her when the friends were all at the uh, farm and all. It was like the worst bullying experience I've ever seen. Chris just picking on his poor wife in front of all of his friends. Yeah, like, it was rough. Rough. It was. Rough Would scene. you ever sleep in that uh, cabin? No. God, no. Would you? I. Well, see, I was going to ask, like, I have a place down the shore. It's like a, a campground. I could never imagine you doing no. anything like that. No, so, like, I'm on a camp. And all, I could no. never see. No, like Zach and, and Jackson yeah. did? No, God fucking zero chance. It's for his zero, zero, yeah, zero like, chance. I, 
I couldn't do anything like that. I'm I'm sleeping in like a 1986 trailer, but I got my in-laws right around the corner who got like a nicer park model, so it's not as bad. But I was interested. Like the cabin's nice and all, but yeah, it's pretty nice. They did a good job. Why all that work? I love the idea that they make it seem like they Matt. All that work. They make it seem like Matt built it with his hands, though. It's like you know, I'm pretty sure he's supervised. They do it. like. I don't think Mac could build something with a Lincoln logs like that. <laughs> no, it's like, it's like they didn't make it out to be like he was chopping down the woods. Yeah. Well, all right, I'll talk to you. Hang in there, little people, big world guy. Take it easy. See you. 207. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you fine. <clears throat> hey, looking forward to the show this weekend. Yeah. Um, I know you're familiar with Maine, but I have a couple of uh, local establishments for you to check out if you're interested. Sure. I don't know if you'll do mm-hmm. a better job than uh, Steve from Providence and TJ, TJ last yeah. year to set it up. There was a, what was it, a Dunkin' Donuts? And subway. A, a Subway and all yeah. kinds of shit, I think is what TJ said. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I think I can one-up that. So Go ahead. For local local mom and pop fast food, you got Rapid Rays, which is on Main Street, probably two miles away from the drive-in. Mm-hmm. And then for dessert, you got Gar Sides ice cream, best ice cream I've ever had. This is so in Saco. Looking forward to the show. Okay, well you're welcome. Yeah, both in Saco. Okay, thank you. Wonderful. Hello, they load up, Dave. Load up. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey boys. <laughs> How you doing? This is Quantum Week, Chris. <laughs> Ooh, my rival now. Colleen's huh? got an issue. Both of you guys have both issues have issues with, with these. Jeez, I love Chris. He'll be here Friday. These characters. I hope. Is he confirmed, Dave? Yes. Okay. What What's going on, Quantum Week, Chris? How are you? Well, I, I'm excited. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you for having me on YouTube Live this week, Kirk. I appreciate it. We are on YouTube Live this week. Well, I get this one. Are we, are we gonna go once a week? Eh, on Friday? Probably not. <laughs> Maybe never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe no times. I'm sorry, Chris. I apologize. Maybe I will for you, buddy. How's that? I, I would appreciate that, Grant, because Kirk, I have a face for radio and a voice for Telegram. Right. So I figure, why not put me on YouTube Live? Okay, gotcha. all right. I'm really confident in my uh, Quantum Week video for Saturday night. After that, I'm excited for it. Yeah. Hello. Kirk, I uh, I called uh, the other show about Chaps and his kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just take a look at libs of TikTok, uh, libs of TikTok on uh, Twitter. Just, I don't know, just another glimpse of where some people are going. But regardless, back to Chaps. Other <laughs> I'll definitely than take a look at libs of you TikTok and- on Twitter. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, what? I said I'll definitely head over to libs. Oh, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's let me ask it's, you. Let me ask you. I, I think I said this the other like, day. Before you, you can talk about chaps, but what are you so worked up about for? What are you worried about? It's not your kid. I'm going to get into that, Kirk. I'm okay. glad you asked that. Okay. Other than you and Dave Portnoy, not mm-hmm. not calling in, uh, is Chaps the most polarizing person at Barstool? He little. Do you know we lost his dad like five weeks ago, maybe a month ago? Well, that's too bad. I didn't know that. Yeah, why are you no, angry yeah, about yeah, yeah. Um, why is he angry about it? Yeah, what do you care? I mean, uh, I, 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 I feel bad for him. I, oh, I'm not angry. I, I, I'm literally, yeah, dude. I, I, but what's your? But I don't understand. What's the, what's the? What's the? What's the? What? What does that matter, though? You say it's anger, Kirk. I'm fine. I'm no, fine. I, I, okay, I'm okay. Fine. But I'm saying, but I'm saying is, why do you bring that up? Like, that's too bad. Like, I, what does that have to do with anything else, though? I, oh, because he's polar. I'm going to list off the polarizing things it's, about him. The fact that his dad and died then, is polarizing. Yeah. You know. That's a that's story. What gave you that's, a, that's a headline. That's, what? Can I get to two? Well, I, my, I, but, but me, <laughs> Dave, hold on. Me, Dave, uh, my dad is dead. Chap's dad is dead. And Dave's dad is basically brain dead. Well, is that the, that's... <laughs> is that, <laughs> so, okay. Mm-hmm. Get, sh- all right, get shot in Afghanistan. Has to deal with this war all this week and all this crap. Sure. Do you know that he freaking went to, he has a felony because he hit a cop? Yeah, I saw that. I don't understand this. Yeah, point. yep. But, um, I, mean, I, mean, but, I mean, to his to his credit, he's written a blog about that. He's talked about that. He's not denying yeah, absolutely. that. So I don't know absolutely. what you're. I, I, look, I, I hate I, the guy. I don't want to defend I, him, but like, I don't know what you're. Why are you? What do you my so? Point is, I don't know your point. Arrive at your point. My point is, he, like, he's just a polarizing guy. You keep saying that. I, I don't find I him. <laughs> I find him to be a total bore. Like, I don't find him to be polarizing at all. I don't even know anything he says. I'm one with him, dude. He got shot in Afghanistan. How is that polarizing? <laughs> <laughs> you shoot somebody there. I mean, may have. It but me, Kurt. All right, goodbye. I don't even know what to say. Guy, give me something that makes me hate him. Four one. Hello. Yep. Head over to TikTok, whatever the hell. Hey, yeah. Kirky. What's up? Uh, completely different note from that last guy who just 
totally fucking irrationally hates chaps. I am currently on I-70 East, uh, about 23 miles away from the Canarado. Canarado. Hall. I'm on a, yeah, I'm on a big cross-country road oh, trip. Oh, like, what, what, right what, what do you, so, what do you, hold on. How, are you, go ahead. You're not, in, so you're heading to Colorado right now. No, I'm leaving Colorado. Oh, I, I, drive, I left Denver about two hours Have ago. you gone through Stratton, Colorado yet? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, that's right on the border, okay? There's yeah, a, yeah, then no, I have not. There's a no. restaurant there called H-A-N-D-I apostrophe S. Handy's is actually the name of it. <laughs> Handy's is a hamburger restaurant. It is fucking great. It is open right now. I'm checking for you. It's a little early for you for, for lunch. You got to go there and yeah, get lunch. You have kinda, to. You got to go there. Clock. Yeah, I haven't eaten yet though. So. Go there. Go there. It's awesome. Okay. It's awesome. I'm jealous. Right, I'm you. jealous. So thank you. Mind. How's the service there? Yeah. Ah, there you go. It's top, top, top mind of the business, folks. <laughs> what? Thank you. Go ahead. Hey, Kirk. Um, the other day, I was eating some Peggy Lawton chocolate chip cookies, and I realized there's three in the package, and makes me think that you're a big even numbers guy. Does I break. That you I, I break two packages. I break. No, I break one and a half. That's four. Uh, oh, that's smart, man. That's which why I, I love you. I love you're you weaseling out on Which that. I haven't had in a month and a half. I haven't had those. One more, Dave. I can't. I just can't. Hey, Kirk. It's it's great timing with that last caller. It's me. It's it's Peggy Lawton. Pe- wow. It's Peggy Lawton? What are the chances? <laughs> Peggy, how are you this morning? It's me, yes. I'm great, but I, I have been missing you. I'm missing being inside you, baby. Oh, I mean, this is... Oh, boy. Oh. It's been so long. So well, I, I mean, understand well, I, I appreciate that. I miss, you know, Peggy, I miss you too. I really do. I mean, I know you're getting so thin, and you know, you're kind of like my cookies. You know, they're all hard and sweet. <laughs> oh, Peggy, Peggy, taste your fingers, Peggy. This is not. Ugh. <laughs> Peggy, this is not. This has never been a sexual. Don't, 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 don't make this tawdry between us. What's we in your ass right now? We've had. Uh, <laughs> I was calling Sully playing drops out of nowhere. Uh, no, Justin is. I, I he, he's all system. better. He's, okay. he's in studio. What's that? Uh, what's that, Peggy? Kirk, before, I, before everything got fucked up and wanna, interrupted. Go ahead. I just want to wrap you up like one of my packages in cellophane and and hold on to you tight. I mean, we could maybe arrange that. I don't know how, but, <laughs> but I, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I, I I miss you, Peggy. I do. I miss you. I I do miss having you inside my mouth. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, I miss you too, Kirk. All right, baby. Maybe you maybe you'll have it again soon. Okay, we could be. The stars may align again, Peggy. Farewell. It's a very sexual cookie. I never knew. Uh, that. It's not my experience. Like I said, I don't like that 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 she has decided to make it that way. I've always thought it was an innocent, right. childlike experience. Oh. You know, often that happens. All right, one more, Dave. Yeah, I guess so. I got a question for uh, Cola Name. Go ahead, uh, Cola Name. I know you're getting ready for the show and everything. What about the mind goblins? What about the mind goblins? You mind gobbling these nuts? I'll hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed him again. <laughs> the walking idiot right in there. Oh, that, was that was a great one. <laughs> uh, you don't see Dave outsmarted very often. <laughs> but what happens to that? Hello. Hey, Kirk. Radio question for you. Sure. Um, two years ago, 98.5 Sports Hub did uh, their 98 mile, the the back and forth. Oh, throughout. yes, yes, Session. yes, yes. Did they, you listen to any of those? Well, I mean, they drove into the ground, wouldn't you say? Uh, they definitely killed it after a while, but there were a couple of there that yeah, I well, thought yeah. were pretty funny. Uh, the, I, I, the Felger I, versus Grash. Uh, yeah, I yeah, Did you I don't. Hear that? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Would you Would you have ever, if the, if the sure. shoe was on the other foot, right, and the EI did something like that, would you have participated? Sure. I would have done it if 98.5 had asked me to do it. Yeah, I feel like that was at least something creative for. Oh, for, for sure. Yeah, call it radio yeah. standards, right? That it, they, it definitely played. That was that was Touch and Rich, right. right? Yeah, they started it, and they had right? a funny. They, got, they, they did that. They did that. Fifty Shades of uh, Gway with yep. get, with Tangway too, which, which I thought was, was funny. Good. That was creative. Yeah. yeah, those guys are not. Yeah, I, I give them credit for at least trying something new. Right? I thought that. They, yeah, they, I thought they were a, a worthy ally. Didn't Sarge win that? Did Sarge win? Oh, Jesus Christ, Dave. Oh. <laughs> they. They did multiple like seasons fuck. of it, right? And I think at the end of it, it all right, became, okay, 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 they, they okay. We're, we're, we're fucking, we're not making a wet, we're fucking yeah. writing a novel here. At least we know what Dave listens to as opposed to this show. No shit, no, I just know that guy. What? Hey, Kirk, Billboard Charts guy here. How are you? Oh, hello, Billboard Charts guy. I have a, uh, a little quiz for you. Okay, you ready? Sure. What, you, what years are we talking? Uh, um, we're talking. Um, 70s and 80s. Yeah, I'm, my 70s are weak. I grew up with the 80s, but okay. 
Uh, it's focused on an artist, so I wonder oh, if you okay. could tell me the uh, six top ten songs that Paul Simon had. Top six top ten songs solo for Paul Simon. That's correct. The solo okay. era. Good. Graceland. I don't think Graceland was a top ten no. single. The album was was a, was a big hit. Me and Julio. Yep. No. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, Fifty ways to leave your lover. Yes. Um. Slip slide. Yes. Uh, what the hell is the uh, co- coach? Uh, am I right or no? Can you sing? Your your code of chrome. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Um, that's three. Late in the evening. Yep, that's top ten song. Four. That's correct. Uh, Dave, 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 mind your business. Just trying to give a hint. Shit. It was called. It was a hint. That's all I was trying to do. Right, uh, you, you can, can call, call me out. Was not a top ten song. Really? If Graceland wasn't. No, that wasn't a top ten song, right, caller? No, sir. No. Oh wow. Uh, let me think. So I think we're we're talking like. Uh, uh, have I covered all the ones in the eighties or no? Uh, yes. Okay. We are now. Yeah, I thought so. About, that, see, I'm saying uh, like, yeah, this is where I get. So we're we talking like. Um, Oh, uh, oh, God. What do we have so far? You want the years? No, no, no. Give me the you ones we have, have so far. You got slip sliding away, yep. 50 ways to leave your lover, late in the evening, and code chrome. Paul Simon. I mean, I'm a, obviously, I know these songs. Of course. Hmm. All right. Uh, like 77, are we talking? No. What years? Earlier. Early, probably those first two albums. I'm trying to think what else um, was on, but me and Julio didn't make it. That's that's later. That's in the 80s. No, me and Julio was Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was thinking you can call me out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that one was 73? One in 70. Yeah, that's a thing. They, one in 72. That's thing. They broke up. They were yeah. gone early. That self title album came out in 72, I think. Yeah. That's uh, correct. All right, go ahead. Give me, give, yeah. give to me. Mother and Child Reunion Fuck. went to number four. Oh, yeah. And then there's a killer. Loves me like a rock. No, no that was that was I had my head. I couldn't figure that one. Oh, the fr- yeah, that's, that's but what you see, I told you, seventies, eighties. Uh, I, I would know, like you know, easily. Did he ever have a never had a number one single though, right? Or did he? He's gone. Five oh eight. Kirk yes. is the excellence of execution. Brett the Hitman Hardcore. Wow. <laughs> the best. The best. What is it? The best there is. Best there was. The best there ever best will there be. There is. The best there was. And the best there ever will be. Hey, Brett, let me... This Founder is, this of the Heart Foundation. Brett, let me ask you a question. Does this bring back any bad memories Shoot. for you? No? Kirk, I'm, I'm here to Sorry. talk to you about weak links. And okay. if there's one thing that the Hart family knows about, right. it's a weak link. Yes. Okay? Uh-oh. No, leave... Members oh, on your team. Uh, yeah. You're assembling a team. You've got... Dave Cullinane, one of the best, most brilliant minds in this business <laughs> since you. the mouth of the South, Thank Jimmy Hart. What, wait, what business are we talking about? The radio podcast okay. oh, business. Okay. So he's one of the best minds in the radio business since Jimmy Hart? Since the mouth of the South, Jimmy okay. Hart. Didn't know, I mean, knew, okay, I knew it was a musical history, but I didn't know that he was also in radio. Go ahead. But the language skills of Mr. Fuji. <laughs> That's definitely true. That's definitely true. Yes. You've got a weak leak on your team, Kirk. Mm -hmm. He thinks he knows a lot about comedy. My brother Owen knew a lot about comedy. He was the prankster of pranksters. He was. He was the real king of hearts. I saw that, yeah. He was a great worker. He was a great worker. He was also a great hand, which is more than we can say about one B. Michael Geary. That's true. Okay? B. Michael Geary has an IQ lower than a shoe size. Well, Kirk, the comedy is, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Hold on for those two. Hold on. Oh, we'll wait it up. Hold on, Kurt. What are we holding on for? I think his service. Did you hang up on him, Dave? No. Do you want can, to yes. Yeah, we no. Don't, yeah, we don't wait. Hello. Kirk. Yes. I called to talk about Mamma Mia's. Okay. But you don't have Mike on. You have that pencil dick, skinny headed fuck <laughs> Chris on. It's true. Nice to talk to you. <laughs> Chris. Quantum. Freak quiz. Oh, oh wow. shit. Boy. Write that down, you? Dave. Yep. Got it. How dare you? Is this red? Wow, a superstar 
on your show. When when a superstar wants to be on your podcast, Chris, you let them on. We talked. We, you, you'll hear it later on the show. Yes, yeah. yes. He and Mike are engaged in a very strange, passive aggressive feud to nowhere. I would say. Although maybe it'll end culminate somehow. Maybe we'll see it tomorrow night. Maybe, maybe. big fight. Maybe five eight. Hey, uh, Kirk, uh, how are you? This is uh, former President Barack Obama. How's everything going today? Uh, wow. Fine, uh, Mr. President. How are you? I'm fantastic. Uh, Joe, a little bit of a mayhem down there in Afghanistan. Benghazi's looking uh, pretty good right now. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Next. Yep. All right. Oh, that was dreadful. <laughs> white, white people, they are the best. Oh, hello there, Kirk. It's Neil Diamond. I'm reporting live from Kabul. I'm doing a USO tour here. Bob What's the area code that's called? A couple uh, years. Uh, 202. Hello Where's there. that? 202. I always think it's Kevin from Bristol. It's not? It's Afghanistan, of course. You know, hey, uh, you know, there's a bunch of people with hoods. Am I wrong or no? The only one is I DC. Know, okay. Barbara Streisand's nose seems to stick out. She's is this Kevin? Hey, 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 hey. Neil, 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 it's all right. Oh. Is this Kevin from Bristol or not? Oh. I, don't, I don't think so. I'm all right, Neil go, all right goodbye. We're good. Oh. We're good. Oh, no. <laughs> That's sad. It's just sad. 617. All aboard. <laughs> What's up, John? <laughs> What's up, John? How you doing, buddy? Hi, Kirk. Hi, Chris. Hi, hey, Dave. John. Hi, John. He gets me every time. What's up? I'm trying to perfect that. I That's just pretty had good, one Tim. Quick... Guess me every time. Had me fooled, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> what a talent, huh? What a... <laughs> well, you know, everyone, everyone's got something, you know. Just had one question for you, Kirk, before you head off for the weekend. Uh huh. Would you rather? It's a would you rather? Sure. Would Would you rather lick Brandy Love's toes or Ugh. actually do tomorrow show? <laughs> I'll tough. hang up and listen. Thank you. I, I don't make Don't make me choose. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too tough. It's too tough. No, oh, fun. We'll have a good time. We'll have a good time. All right, we're going to call her stink. Five away. Oh, should I call her stink? Oh, I didn't hear it. Right, go ahead. Five away. Go ahead. I thought you said something else. Are they load up, Dave? Yeah, they are. This, right. is, this is Robert Kraft of the DeWeg Club Titrants. <laughs> I feel like I'm in 1996. Calling, on the, uh, calling to give state of the DeWeg Club Patriots and also to ask, Dave Cullinane, how many times he tugged it to Kim Carrigan? Because <laughs> I know I did. Did you ever masturbate to Kim Carrigan? I didn't. I no never scenario masturbate. where you got in like late one day. You're doing work at night. And she never was there. Did. No, never. she's lovely. Never, 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 once. never. And I would admit that Kim Carrigan has legs for days. <laughs> legs for days. No personality, but yeah. Oh, please. Oh, wonderful. God. Woman. Wonderful. P brain. Kirk. Go personality ahead. and women are overrated. That's true, Robert, yeah. This weekend, I'm hoping to have a little holiday, if you know what I mean. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Go ahead, Kirk. sir. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, drop. Hello. Hello. Yes. Is it me? Kirk, it is. I got a question for you. Sure, can, go ahead. Can you help me make a decision? I'll try. All right. My parents want me to come visit them this weekend. They're on the Cape. I'm in Western Mass. Should I do it or no? No. God, no. Thank you. It's not even. Why would you even <laughs> ask that question? The, the, the weather's going to be awful. The traffic's going to be brutal. What are you, why are your parents doing? They should come visit you. Exactly. Why would my mother want to put me through that shit? Well, I mean, what, like, we have to leave. And you I like, got the dog. I got to bring the dog. Okay, I don't care. But I mean, all right, goodbye. Yeah, don't do that. When's the last? Well, I was going to ask. When's the last time you saw them? There's a lot that goes into that. Yeah, but down the Cape on a Friday? Yeah, that's no, a lot. In the summer? Yeah. I mean, if he wants to go down tomorrow morning, leave Early. at 6 a.m., then okay. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. 780. Hey, Kirk, I'm, uh, I'm just calling in to check. I just want to know who you hate more, fucking Matt Oscar Rob or uh, that piece of shit Craig that Doug runs Blind Mike show. <laughs> uh, Right now, Rob. Wow. What about, what about, you know, Jay's Mayhem? Have you ever heard of Jay's Mayhem? I've seen the name. I don't know. I mean, yeah, not, no, I don't have any opinion one way or another. I assume I hate it. No, you're okay. I was, but I mean, Matt Watson, so, but so, yeah. like, when I, when I heard the, where in Canada are you? Uh, Alberta. Is this oh. Killer Kowalski? You bet it is, Chris. You bet it is. Big, big, big Quantum Week, Chris. Even, great. I don't even know what that means, but he's a, he's a fan of your show. Wonderful. Thank you for that. 
Uh, but when Matt Oscar Rob said like, oh, it, you know, it's up to the show to do that. I'm like, you're your fucking mind, man. You're your fucking mind. <laughs> well, if somebody is going to do that, it would be on the show. You're right, yes. Dave. If we're going to yeah. build a fucking casino, <laughs> it would be on the stage. It, right. I mean, yeah. I, <laughs> Nine seven eight. Kirk, that was a brute. That ripped my heart out last night. That was that was that was tough. Tough. tough it was tough. But you, get, sorry, you know what? You got you, you got to get off the mat and move on. Yeah. Um, uh, hypothetical question here. Sure. Who do you think would get more attention at Saco tomorrow? Can't wait to go to not have any fun, by the way. Who, who do you think would uh, get more attention? Uh, Dave Cullinane or if uh, Steve Robinson surprisingly showed up, who do you think would get more attention? Oh, I would say certainly if Steve made a surprise appearance, he would get more attention. Would you say, Dave? Of Definitely. Yeah, he should. There's a big, what, show up? No, he, well, yes. Oh, and then also he's... should get the attention. Yeah, but I, I don't, I, unless I'm going to be surprised, I don't believe that's scheduled to happen. Hello. Hey, so I wasn't at the live show, but I did see some pictures on Twitter, and uh, I cannot imagine a worse group of people <laughs> to offer a free buffet to. Well, that's also true. I mean, it's a good maybe, point. Maybe for, the, maybe for the October show, you guys should offer some, like, carrots and celery and water, <laughs> and then you guys, you know, keep the food cost down a little bit. Well, here's what people can eat. They can go to some food truck or something, or they can go to concessions. That's what I would say. That's yeah. what I, I paid for one of their meals. Thirty thousand dollars to feed these people. Nobody does this. Nobody. Do we have money left in the pizza fund? Why don't we use that? Yeah, I know. Not anymore. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, these people still bitch about the free food. I oh, wasn't good or whatever. Uh, you know, it always comes back to food, doesn't it? Yeah, because they're all they're fat fucks. <laughs> I'll, I will tweet this out a bunch today because I don't know if it was a volume thing, but I notified Barstool of that link. Okay, so, that yeah. could be it. All right, hello. We'll take one or two. I, I can't. I'm so annoyed. No, I'm not annoyed, but I'm, I'm just confused. I'm confused. I feel like someone's lying to me, whether it's Dustin or Justin or Dave. Somebody is. Uh, his it's, name is it's Dustin. It's Dave. It's clearly Dave. Yeah, I think it is. I actually think it is, too. Go ahead. I, I mean, I love Dave and Justin. They both seem like, like awesome dudes. Oh, yeah, they're incredible um, dudes. But what a disaster this is. How, how do they – I'm not calling for anyone's job, but, I mean, how does Dave make it through this show? I'll tell you this. Uh, it's a good question. I'll tell anyway, you this. So I, before yeah. this all happened – I had a, uh, I was not going to, I didn't want to look at Dave for the rest of the week. I actually had a, a producer lined up for Wednesday, for today, originally, before As this like a happened. a suspension of some kind? Not even, I just didn't want to look at him. Yeah. So I was going to have somebody else produce on Wednesday and somebody else produce on Friday. Oh. But once this happened, I was like, I guess we got to do this. So. Who would it have been? Anyone we know? No. Well, no. I didn't even. Hmm? I uh, couldn't make it to the live show. My brother and my buddy went and. Uh, Who gives a they shit? They said afterwards, they're both still oh. Well, I'm just saying, they, my brother texted me after. He said, oh, dude, we went to town, had pulled pork, burgers, all this stuff. And I was like, oh, I didn't know they were doing food up there. It was glorious. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Mountains wait, of meat, wait, wait, succulent wait. meat. What an interesting conversation you <laughs> have with this guy. How was the show? Yeah, it was good. We had hamburgers. All right, thanks, buddy. Hey, how's it going, Kirk? Great. Dave, Mike. Great, great, great. Hey, it's uh, your head, Mike, here, driving down to South Carolina. But I was there on Saturday. Great show. The thing with the food is they kept coming around saying, hey, the food's going to be coming out, and it's no charge. Like, I, that's oh, so I, I've heard that. I've heard that from – I saw that on Twitter from yeah. – I, I was one – sorry, buddy. I heard that uh, – thanks for the call. I heard that yeah. on, on Twitter from several people that one of the women from the company kept going around saying, just so you know, it's on the house. Sick Kirk, for, yes. um, I'd like to do my part and, and help out as a fan. I'm sure. willing to donate two 12-packs of Coca-Cola in October. I only ask for – a thirty thousand dollar donation. That's reasonable. Tim, right, fifteen. Can you guys bring that? <laughs> See, we're, 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 we'll we'll counter with fifteen. 30, Thirty grand, Kirk. Well, here's the thing. Thanks, Tim. Uh, thank you very much. Good to talk to you tonight. What's up? What do you want? Um, for the October show, I suggest some sort of apprentice style competition where the loser loses their job between Justin and uh, Dave. What would you want? This? Do you, That's interesting, uh, sir. Let me ask you a question. What do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer, okay. If you had people working in your firm who perform the way these two have, would you would they ever have a job? No, not a okay. Chance. Okay. I mean, certainly the little mistakes are bad. It's the thirty thousand dollar mistake that has to be that old chestnut the final straw. <laughs> right, and it's great. It's like the people who like you know love Justin, love Dave. Are you gonna blame me for this because technically it's true? Like, but that would be like you know. Blame me, Portnoy, if somebody it, like that, that doesn't. Like, that, this is not my responsibility. It's my show. But let's be fair about this. Like, if you if you guys want to give me shit for this, fine. But this is something I am delegating to people. I don't think I need to. In my mind, I don't need to figure out how much we're paying for corn on the fucking cob. Yeah. Seven seven four. 
Kirk. What's up? Listen, I uh, I boycotted the live show after you canceled us. After you told us about what that the oh. podcast marathon is no longer. I said I cannot go. Uh huh. But I, I want to say I, I think that was a big mistake. It sounds like there was a five star meal. I missed out on a hell of a fucking deal. Apparently, I don't even know who this is. Who is this? The, uh, burgers, beyond average. Salt guy. and bacon. The what? Remember the kid? Salt and bacon. Beyond average. No. Uh, he was in studio. Oh, the He's podcast guy. You know oh, yes, are. yes, 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 yes. I remember. Yes. What are you saying? You're really doing that act, though. So you know who we are. Okay. What Come about on. it? So you you, oh, you, at, you told us that we could do the live. Were you at? Were you at the? Were you, the you, were you at the? Sh- were you at the show or no? I didn't go this time. No. No. We going October. I will. Yeah, I'd love right. to go. Sounds I'd good. We'll see you then. Oh, you're not. You're not doing a live show. We'll see you October. Yes. Kirk, you there? I'm right here. Uh, just wanted to let you know I was at the show. It was fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you for your service. Um, my friend in Western Mass runs a food truck, and I just talked to him as soon as I found out about this. Just so you know, for an estimate of a thousand people, you would probably put, pay eight grand in overhead for your materials and food, and guess to make another eight grand in. Okay. Profit. All right, so all right. we'll talk to spend him. Spend eight grand. I don't know, whatever. But twenty nine grand, whatever. I'm sure it's too much, but it doesn't matter. This should have been communicated and taken care of, done before. Every every I and T should have been taken care of. I will right, we'll take a few here as we wrap this bizarre week up. Five away. Hey, Kirk. I got two things for you, real quick. Go ahead. Uh, Cedric Benson and Delta Airlines. What do you think of that? Great victory last night. Thank you. Great victory. Not without controversy, awesome, but awesome. There, there always will be. There was no controversy. No? Team victory in Team Minahan. Great, great to watch. Love the show. Love the trivia show. Love you guys. All right. Thanks, buddy. Yes. Congratulations. I remember Cedric Benson, one of, the, one of the college football questions, I think it was. And then Delta Airlines won it for us. Yes. Emotional. Emotional victory. Hello. Hey, it's uh, Sam from Sam's Luxury Catering. I'm just uh, returning a call from Dave Collins. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to take a lot of these. This is going to annoy me. Go ahead, Sam. So you you want to talk to Dave about catering? Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm just returning a call from him. Oh, you call? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. That's right. Uh, so first of all, as Dave knows, I am located in California, but I uh, just wanted to confirm that it was okay to expense the private jet and five-star hotels for my staff directly to Barstool, correct? Yeah, just make sure you email my Barstool email, and then I'll send it along to the He'll confirm yeah. it. I can promise. I certainly confirm. can confirm You'll it. You'll confirm it. I certainly can. Perfect. And just well, a couple more things. So you said we were looking to feed about 2,000 um, Cola fans, you called them? <laughs> That's is that right. Correct? That's probably so, right. Do we got to go there? That's probably right. Yeah. Great, great. And just so you know, we were able to get the prime rib, the lobster, the truffles. What's well, the, the other thing? Oh, well, well, all right, all right. Okay, okay. We, okay. We've, we've gone too far. We've killed the show. 508. Good morning, Kirk. Peter King calling. Oh, hey, Peter. How are you? <laughs> I'm out on the highways and byways of North America bringing everyone the best football coverage possible. Good. I wanted to say thank you, Kirky. I was, me and the bride were on our way to Kenny Bunksport last week to visit Candle Shop. And we stopped at a little roadside place on Route 1 in Saco and got a great barbecue takeout to go. It was spectacular. <laughs> That's great to hear, Peter. It was wonderful. We we didn't realize that you had paid for it all till today. Well, I figured that was Thank where you're going, you Peter. so much. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. I'm happy to help. I'd like to say, also, Kirky, I'd like to say hail and farewell to Mrs. Barnacle, retiring from Bank of America today. Oh, is that right? She started out as a humble teller uh-huh. in Haunted Circle. Well, Peter, sometimes the sequel oh, sounds no. good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Major League Two. 603. Hey, is Chris there? I am. He is. Chris, I'm listening to some episodes of Quantum Week waiting for Kirk's episode to come out, and I'm listening to your uh, Lord of the Rings episode yes. from a few weeks ago. Yes. I have never been more passionate about how much, like, how you hate Lord of the Rings. Like I'm not passionate about. Anything I'm with. I'm with Chris a thousand percent on this. I hate, hate those so fucking much. movies. You like those movies? No, I'm not saying that I like them, but the passionate level uh, that he has. No, it's like they, they get the. Uh, I I went. My friend dragged me to see the last one. The one that one best fucking picture. And like at the end, they like all tickle each other on some bed. I'm like, what the fuck is it? Oh, tis you, Frodo. And they're like, what? This is fucking bullshit. It's the most boring movie experience oh, I've had in my life. And it just sucks. goes on and on and on. And I contend the whole thing is fake. People pretend to like the books because they think they're good. I think the whole thing is bullshit. Nobody actually likes it. Nobody. 
Not a single person. The book sucked. I, I actually thought The Hobbit, the Hobbit series oh, was pretty good. Fuck you. Oh. Really fuck I fuck you. Well. Seriously, don't listen to this podcast anymore. Fuck you. I you don't can want... keep listening to Quantum Week, though. No, my don't. Friends. Well, that's fine. But anybody listens, anybody, if you're listening you like Lord of the Rings, don't don't listen to this podcast. I, I, I don't want that. I don't need that in my life. What's up? Kirk, Billboard Charts guy here today. Do, 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 do. What's up? All right. Okay. Billboard Charts guy here. I heard you the first time, Billboard Charts guy. <laughs> All right. I thought this week we'd explore the top ten history of Bob Seger. Down, down, down. There were seven. Now, 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 now. Go ahead. Seven top ten songs. Seven to me, top ten songs from Bob Seger. Uh, yes, sir. I will go with his uh, lone number one, uh, 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 Shakedown. Correct, 87. You're busted. Uh He's, uh, uh, even though never what's number one, I think it's his biggest. If you look at the accumulation of chart points, uh, "Shame on the Moon," which hit number two, um, which was constantly blocked by Billy Jean, if memory serves me correctly. Hmm. Correct, nineteen eighty-two. Uh, uh, well, he had the Eagles backing him up uh, on "Fire Lake," which I think hit number six. Nineteen eighty, sir. You are correct. Right. Uh, Against the Wind was a top ten song. Number five in 1980. Um, how many do I have left? You have three left. Very three impressive. Left. Um, I got one. Go ahead. Still the same. Number four in 1978. I mean, I did still the same to start, Dave, when you, when you said Bob Seger. Oh, he did? Down, down, down. Oh, you did. just did down, it like down, that. Down, oh. down, 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 down. Come here, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a question for you. I'm just trying to help. I, 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 no, I was doing it. The two left are... He interrupts. What's that? You got... You got. I said he interrupts every week, Kurt. I know a friend of mine, uh, Sporty McKenzie, left. who once said that somebody was an, a Maximus Interruptus, and I, I think Dave is being that right now. Uh, are there any left from the 80s? There's one left from the 80s, and obviously one from the 70s. You know, amazingly, you know, the song that Seeger's best known for, I think if you've asked 100 people, is probably old-time rock and roll, maybe, and that did not chart in the top 10. Yeah, it, it's... Turn the page might be too, but yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But I'm saying like, you know, the one that's played the most array is probably that. I think I know the 1981, but I won't help you. It's from the 80s? You know it? Yeah, I got my dad. It's one of my dad's favorite songs. What's going to bother me? I mean, I'll sit there all day. The 80s for Seeger. Is it also from 80s? Is it from Against the Wind or no? No, it's not. I didn't think it was. Two, three. Well, it can't be. It's not even now. That did not get in the top 10. Did not. Uh, shut up, Dave. Um, you any help on this, Chris, or no? I, the only one I can think of, you want to... I'm, I'm not a huge Bob Seger guy, so I might, I might have a song. Is Night Moves, is that him? Night Moves is him. Is that one of them? Night, Night Moves is number four in 1970. That's 70s, Very though. Good, yeah, yeah, yep, that's 70s. I was, right. I was focusing on this 80s. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, it's fine. Another that's fine. No, no, no. So, Fire Lake... You want a hint, Kirk? Yeah, I guess. Once you give it to me, a hint, I'll probably get it. But go ahead. Um, it, the it fell between against the wind, which was in 1980, 80. and then the album from, from 82. So the album came out in 81. So it's the so it's in between that and shame on the moon. You're saying that's right. Oh, I uh, try and live my life without you. You got it. There you go. Very that's good. That's pretty good. Mm, yeah, I guess. I mean, I should have known that. I don't like that. That's a cover, though, right? Uh, I think it is. Yeah. Ramble Gamp I, I tried to gear this. T- Ram a Gamble Man is not, not, not top 10. No, sir. No, that was like 17. That's old, old, old. Uh, that's, that's in the 60s, I think. Yeah, it is. I, yeah, it's Glenn Fry's in the background. That's where they first met. So we got one left, right? No, no, you no, got yeah, it. I got that it with Night Moves. Oh, that's all? Yeah. Oh, okay. There you that's go. it, seven. Oh, God, Night Moves is still the same. David, the fucking open up his fucking stuff. No, thank Chris. <sighs> well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Only one number one. Thanks, Billboard Shark. All right, one or two more. 908. Hey, Kirk. Uh, fantastic performance this morning. I just wrapped it up maybe 20 oh, minutes ago. Just thank you. absolute domination. Well, I needed it. Um, we, yes, we needed it, I would say, as, as a Minifan. Well, I, got, I, got, um, I, I doubled up on the movies. I got theirs wrong, and I got mine right. It was the movie yeah. question, Chris, was the first one was a 2007 movie that featured John Voight and John Turturro in supporting roles. Oh, my God. Blockbuster, they called it. Oh, Transformers. There you go. See, I didn't know. I've never seen it. I said uh, 
what's the boy one with Nicolas Cage? National Treasure. You got to remember it's Barstool, too. It's like, that's oh, true. That's right. It's not going to. And then my one I got, I doubled and got, was a 97 movie with Rip Torn and Vincent D'Onofrio yeah. in supporting uh, role. Oh, Man in Black. Yes. Once again, remember it's Barstool. But I was like very like, I was nervous. I was like, is it Man in Black 2? No, that's too late. You get nervous, but no. But we got that one. Go ahead. Uh, in regards to your dozen team, Kirk, I was actually hoping for some assistance of, of getting me unblocked by your teammate, Rico Bosco. That's going to be hard to do. Um, I ran a, a friend. Rico and I grew up in similar areas, and, and we know the same people. So okay. a friend of mine, I don't want to reveal too much about the guy, but a friend of mine saw his wife at the grocery store, clearly with something going on in her stomach, let me say. Uh-huh. And... I DM'd Rico, hey, congratulations, so-and-so ran into this person. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on the expecting baby. Mm -hmm. He DM'd me back, never fucking talk to me again. I will kill you, and then blocked me. I don't, I don't think I can help you on yeah, that one. You're done there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, well, I, I, just if you could just give, give a good word. That's all I ask. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Don't do it. I don't think I've ever spoken to Rico off the air. But okay, you bet. Go ahead. Kirk, it's the uh, Michigan masturbating uh, grandfather here. I've I met you at the uh, at the show. I sure did meet you. You were wonderful, gracious, nice to my daughter. And but that is part of my problem. Since my daughter way, came. But, yeah. <laughs> since my daughter came, it was a non masturbatory uh, event for me. Yeah, I, I, I guess uh, I same same with me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it made sense. We both brought our kids. Right. I have tickets for Saco Four. Mm -hmm. Important question: Can mm -hmm. I bring my dog? Uh, her name is Peanut Butter, uh, to the uh -huh. show with me. You're right. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Mr. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yes. So you're going to come back for that so, show? Sorry. I hope to. I hope to. Sorry. But all, they're not all winners. Kirk. No, they're I not. One. No, no, no. Go, I only okay. go stare. Go stare at the grass for the rest of your weekend. Be an old man. <laughs> Hello. Hey, first time calling in. Uh, I'm a big fan. I don't not on Twitter. Uh, I just listen to the show every day, and I just figured I had to call in and talk about your buffoon producer and sure. Saco food gate Go ahead. if you've uh gotten that far today i don't know but we have covered it pretty straight and straightforward that he fucked it up i mean the guy called him asked him what it was he said barstool was paying for it and boom that's all and, you and, and chris and, and chris it. at the start of the show blamed me more than dave for the for the that's right for this thing good guy wow Look who you're sitting next to those two. I mean, that's true. come on not a lot that's you're you're right about that sometimes it's amazing what i can do but yeah i yes uh, yeah, but I think Dave is Dave is Dave has accepted his responsibility. I think. Thank you. Like at some point, you got to move on. Hey, Kirk, um, I got a proposition for you that can uh, solve your problem of getting out of this uh, the next the Redemption show. Okay. I will give you thirty thousand dollars if you fire Dave Collinane right now. Do you, you you actually produce the money in front of me? I want it in cash. Yeah. I will give it to you in singles and hundreds of whatever, whatever. You, whatever if you came, you want, if, where, where, where do you, where, where do you live? I live in Massachusetts. Okay. If you come to the studio with $30,000 yeah. in cash, I will fire Dave Colony. That is a promise. On the spot. Oh, not, no question. Done. Done. Okay, good. I look I forward to it. There. Maybe I should do a GoFundMe and right. just raise like a million dollars for it. All your listeners do. Hello. Two hello. or three. Yes. Hello. Hi, uh, Jen's Kiss uh, from Hartford. I was up at the Sacco show and uh, had what? a great Who? buffet. With what? What? Who are you? This is Jen. Jen's Kiss. I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. Jen's? Up at the Sacco <laughs> show. Do you get the joke? Jen. <laughs> no, it's my actual name, Jen's Kiss. And uh, I was up at the Sacco show, had a Chris's great buffet game with me and my confusing. kids. So. <laughs> you had a good time? <laughs> I had a great time. Yeah, uh, just, we'll make it up to you. We'll be at the October show. We'll buy start, some shirts. But start, I want to give yeah, I want to give Chris a compliment. Oh, oh thank you. Right. So I'm standing in, I'm standing in line for the buffet, and Chris Quantum, uh, we Chris, Chris is behind me, and uh, I said hi. We're talking to him, and some douchebag he was with, his friend, mm -hmm. kept saying, "Chris, why are we standing in line? You are Quantum Week, Chris. Is that why true? Are we standing it was Ari fucking around. He's being, out. He's oh, being a dick. Oh. He's fooling around." Yes. No, I'm not being a dick. No, 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 not you, not you. The guy I was with, the guy I was standing with, was a buddy yeah. who, was, who was just he was trying to uh, make fun of me, you know, being being a clown, you know. Well, I'm complimenting you. You're Thank like you. I'm standing in line like everybody of else. Course, I, you yes. know, I'm an you know, you were a good guy. So Thank I just you. want to give you that credit. Thank you. No, we should get a lot of credit for that. <laughs> Appreciate that. I can't end the week with that call, Dave. <laughs> vomit. Hello. You're the last call of the week. Good battery. Hey, Kirk. Yes. 
Kirk, I was wondering if you thought that there was any uh, parallel between your relationship with Cullinane mm -hmm. and Stern's relationship with Sal, where Sal couldn't get out of his way with Stern, no matter how much he wanted Stern to Sure. Work. Yeah, no, I got you. Uh, thanks for the call. Um, well, I think I would listen to Stern all the time, and Stern would be like, oh, you know, I'm going to fire you. And I'd be like, he's not going to fire me. I'm going to fire anybody. And I'm the same way now, just like Portnoy. Hey, Dave, I have a question for you. Sure. Are you looking for a Silicon Valley catering company? <laughs> I'm not looking for any catering companies. Have you tried these? It's up in your area. <laughs> <laughs> who's that? Uh, <laughs> I got to do it, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've never heard of who's D's. D's nuts. <laughs> uh, he just fucking owned you. <laughs> yeah. it, it didn't hit like I thought it would hit. But. Hello. What's up, guys? How you doing? Great. A quick question: Are you watching the Jake Paul uh, release fight? That's my first question. I am not. I don't care about that at all. Really? Do you think be, he, be, I'm a little surprised. <laughs> he, uh, I, 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 I don't care. I care more about the the, the Champions Tour golf event with Joe Durant beating Bernhard Longer than I do. But hello. <laughs> that blind person, Mike guy, sent me this long message, which I didn't respond to. Kirk, it, it's don't, don't. honorary member of the what about of the Roloff family, the Big O. All right, Glenn I mean, Ordway. Yeah, this is not going to be good. <laughs> He's a little guy. You killed it, Dave? No. Oh, what do you want, Glenn? Well, Glenn, look, uh, Kirk, I was I was wondering why you didn't call in the EEI with a, uh, a tribute to me. I wonder if you could do one for me right now. I think I've done I enough for you, Glenn. All right, goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Mm-hmm. Um, are, are you guys still talking about whose fault the uh, food truck was? Why not? Sure. It'll never go away. Oh. Especially with your energy, I can't. Uh, it. <laughs> what is your uh, what, do you, what, what is your name? But, what is your name? My name is Adam. Adam, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Uh, I I cut I, I cut long, I cut grass. Right. Okay. Are you? Yeah. Like, what's that noise in the background? You watching TV? Yeah, I can, I can put that. No, in. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I'm just, I just <laughs> want to get scolding. No, I just want to get a look in your because you know, you know, you seem like a not a particularly energetic guy. Am I wrong or or are you? Uh, no, I, you're, you're probably right. What are your that. likes? What do you like to do? What's what's an Adam day? What'd you do today? Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually a runner. I'm currently okay. Running, so. How far did you go? How far did you run this morning or today? Uh, I, I did eight miles. Eight miles. What do you do? You listen? Sound to, embarrassed? Do you listen to podcast? What do you do for a run? <laughs> I just, I, uh, I just run. I yeah. Don't to Sounds like it. Just gotta run. <laughs> Sounds like it. Are you Sometimes married or kids? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no, I couldn't. <laughs> but like, what, what? Uh, okay, where are you from? Well, I'm not. I don't want to tell you. I'm, I'm from. Uh, I want your, I want your address, <laughs> Adam. What? I'm Massachusetts. Okay. Circumcised. Yeah. Are circumcised. Oh, okay. That you'll okay. give up. How old were you when you first had sex? Who was it with? Name. Uh, her name was Aaron. Okay. I think I was 18. Oh, nice. You still talk to her or no? <laughs> no, no. I think she's married. Send letters on the I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. What's your longest relationship? Are you currently in a relationship? Yeah, eight years. Oh, okay. Oh, get, how old are you actually, now? I was actually... I was, I was actually thinking, so I actually bought a ticket to Saco, uh -huh. and I don't have anyone to go with. Why don't you go with your girlfriend? But, so, oh. Well, so she doesn't like the show. Where is she there right so, now? Well, she doesn't, she doesn't, no, she, no, no, she doesn't, she, she doesn't not like, she's never listened to it. But so, so what? I was thinking, yeah. if I go and propose to her, will you pay for the ring? Hmm. I'm mean, we think about that. I think we've paid for enough fucking things around here. <laughs> probably I will. I probably will. I, I don't want to. I'm sure I'll wind up paying hey, for it. Hey, Adam, I'll give you Justin's yeah. phone number. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your blame issue? Who did you... W w go ahead. About, about the about catering. What, what, but so I guess my whole thing with Justin is is that... Now he's coming to life. He, it never should have been booking someone from Madawaska to begin with. I would say that was a mistake. <laughs> I would say that's a mistake. I hadn't thought of that. You're sharp. <laughs> Even if everything went smoothly, why are you paying someone $5,000 to drive from Madawaska? That's Saka? a very reasonable question that has been addressed not yet with Justin. We will do it when he comes back. Thank you, Adam. Good luck. Thank you. must be great to be that empty mind and just go for long runs. Hello. 
Kirk, uh, big fan. I'm calling out of Metro Detroit. Have you ever heard of a guy named Mike Valenti? Mike Valenti. That name sounds for Is that a radio host or no? It is. Yeah. Valent- Valenti he's sounds familiar. He's, kind of he's got kind of a similar story uh, with you. He talked shit a lot about the Detroit Lions and the Lions. Oh, yes. That's, yes, I know the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, but any, any thoughts? I have no thoughts. Good. <laughs> Once you have thoughts, you're calling me. <laughs> Hello. Right? Well, pesky. Paul. Greetings from Cuba, Kirk. This is Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. How are you? Uh, hello, hello, Khalid. How are you? <laughs> wow, you seem in a very good mood today. <laughs> I never knew him to be so oh, chipper. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm having a, I'm having a great. It's a lovely evening down here in the southern coast of Cuba. Good. Uh, I had a couple questions for you, though. Sure. Um, so it's Jerry's birthday coming up. Oh, I know. And We're gonna get that dumb tweet you know, we get. You know every, I think he, I think he just had his birthday, didn't he? Oh, oh no! This is Jerry down here at the facility. He's a real good guy. He oh, takes I, I'm, care sorry. Of us. I'm sorry. Um, okay, yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yes. No, but happy birthday to Jerry, though. Good for yeah, him. Same birthday as Woody Harrelson and Monica Lewinsky. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Woody Harrelson. I like his work. Um, anyways. Oh, that's nice. Do you know of any good event planners slash caterers that we can hire? <laughs> well, it's a little. I'm trying to think. This is that a longer drive than the one they made? Hello. Sure. Yes. Kirk, have any of these uh, Chad Finn assholes written any art- articles about how EEI fucked up their morning show since you know all that shit went down with you? All right, all right goodbye. No, I think we've dis- I think we've discussed it. Yes, Chad Finn wrote a forty thousand word about what a mistake they made getting rid of me. Kirk, hey. what's up, Dustin? Hey, Dustin, what's up, buddy? Dustin, first, first call tonight. Oh, it's, I don't know what to say, Dustin. Thank you. He's taunting you again. It's a pleasure doing business with you. I know, I know, I know Dustin. You texted me that. Oh, that's probably the tone he said it into. <laughs> He's laughing hard and Steve. <laughs> Counting his money. <laughs> Any regrets, Dustin, at all? Or you feel, you feel good? Uh, I mean, I feel great from my mansion here. Uh, yeah. Next to Bob Murchison. Yeah. Oh, they must have a good laugh. Oh, no one. kidding. Probably got a cut of it, him and Colin. <laughs> Anything else, Dustin? I just have a lot of money based on Yeah, you. I, know, I know you do. Get up in, up in Madawaska? Fuck, he could buy a house up there. He's a it's king. Yeah. Good down payment on a house. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Um, I just want to touch on the catering because I think Dave and Justin are... Priest was like, just like a tip and Colin was just yapping away and he was like, I'm <laughs> fucking... I'll find somebody else. <laughs> it's just life's too short. <laughs> Uh, that's that's how you do it. That's how you do it. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you don't do it that way. That's how you do it. You go do it. You do it this way. It's fine. You wear. What's that? I said I think you're giving the guy Dustin a a, a pass. I'm a caterer, and for him to those business practices of his were. I agree with this. Let's, but I understand. I but let's, but let's, no I'll, I'll, I'll stipulate that you're 100 percent right. Like I, I let's just say you're totally right. I still don't care. Yeah. It's on our end. We let it happen. Of, of which Dave, but, Justin, myself. It, it, we let it happen. You are. I don't want. I don't want to. I, I appreciate that, but I don't want to get into the fucking percentage. I don't care. I right. six oh seven. Hey, load hey, up, Dave. What costs more? Load it up. Oh, what costs more? The uh, the, the lie detector test. It's never going to end. Catering. It's never going to end. Tobacco. We're never going to end this. <laughs> Goodbye. We're never going to. I don't know what to say. All right. Hello. Yo, Kirk. How we doing? Great. <laughs> you don't sound like it. What do you want? Uh, but anyways. Uh, 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 I was wondering, um, you, you know, because uh, you and Mike have uh, talked about uh, Mike and the Mad Dog uh, mm-hmm. in, in the past, and uh, I watched that uh, 30 for 3rd documentary on them, and uh, I thought it was actually pretty interesting, so I was curious if uh, um, you had seen it before. I saw it. It was okay. It was like an hour, right? It was all yeah. right. It was good. I like the part where Mad Dog is getting ready to go to work and he like, dances around. Yeah. I like that. That's what I liked. That's my <laughs> it's about Nothing as honest. It was sweet. Nothing new. I mean, like, I know, I know everything in that. If you want to see Mike and the Mad Dog, the New Yorker. Let me see if I can find this for you right now. Uh, Mike and the Mad Dog, New York, the New Yorker, or New York Magazine. Uh, while you're searching, can I uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, if you ever, here it is, uh, August thirtieth, two thousand four, New Yorker. It's called The Boys. It's a lo- super long story about the two of them. And Chris Carlin tells a story of when they were. Uh, they were at a, they were in Indianapolis for a Pacers Knicks series, like when the Knicks in the like ninety four ninety five. Mm-hmm. 
And he goes up to the, to the room and they, they, one was getting their rooms clean so they were waiting for, for it to be clean. They were watching The Horse Whisperer together, the Robert Redford movie. <laughs> okay. And like it's the end of it and, uh, and Kristen Scott Thomas winds up going back to her husband. She was in love with Redford but she, she went back with, and Scarlett Johansson plays her daughter. And, uh, and they're sitting there in the room and like they're both emotional. And, uh, and Mad Dog was like, you know what? She did the right thing, Mike. It was the right thing to do. The <laughs> dog said, you know what? You're right, dog. She had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... Well, I, I met Carlin once. I told him, I was like, that's probably the moment. If you go back in history and be in a room for something, I'd rather be at that than the fucking Declaration of Independence. Sure, your, can I ask you a question? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead. No, that's all right. Okay. Um, um, I forgive you. Um, so um, at, at the end of the documentary, uh, you know, at uh, Francesacon, where they bring uh-huh. uh, Mad Dog out, I'm wondering if you ever have uh, Minicon, would you have that like kind of build up and then have like the John Cena music uh, you know, blast and then have Steve make his comeback. All right, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs>